Hitting up somebody who did the show as that character for her like years ago. <laughs> so we'll see. Oh wow. Then last minute, the homie Chris, Chris Robinson. You know Chris, right? Uh the name sounds familiar when I hear Christopher Robinson. Is that a Dillard uh, name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's probably okay. I, I may I the face is escaping me right now, but yeah. The well, name sounds familiar. Chris says he freaking my partner, great actor, graduated at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, after after we left Dillard, he went to Miami to try to do the acting thing because he from he's from Atlanta, from, from Miami. Okay. And, um, they they do they shoot stuff out in Miami, right? Yeah, now? but he learned very quickly that mostly commercials. Damn I mean, it, everything he went out for for like a year or two while he was out there was just commercials, no film, no TV, oh. commercials. Damn. So then he took some time off just trying to find himself on some like. What the fuck to do shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. Came back to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, he, he followed, like, I always give a lot of niggas, like, when people ask me, what did you do? My blueprint was, I just acted. I jumped in the theater scene, and I made sure I auditioned for everything, and I really didn't say no to much. I just, that was good and bad. <laughs> uh <-huh. Okay. laughs> like, for real. Like, I, I feel like I did, from graduating Dillard, like a two year to three year binge of just theater, theater, theater. Like, every time I'm looking around me, some rehearsal, I'm in somebody play whoop de whoop de woo. And then mm -hmm. through connections, I got my agent. Now, that's what he did. He came back to the theater and through connections, got my agent. My same one. We got the same okay. agent. So for the past year or so, Chris been, you know, hustling, hustling, auditioning like how we do. And you know, he hasn't booked anything in TV or film. But like I always say, my first year and a half to two years, I didn't book shit in TV or film. I had an agent, but he was nervous. I had to tell him, like, dude, trust me, dog, it's a freaking marathon. It's a journey, bitch. <laughs> You're good. Right, you as long as you're getting, way. as long as they're still asking for you to come in for auditions. That's a good sign. Yeah. Okay. Because that means people want to see you because there's all kind of mechanisms involved as to why you might not book something. They have nothing even to do with your talent or none of that. Just. Yeah, y'all talking. That's what, yeah, okay. That was very enlightening. I'm sorry. My bad. I need to cut you off. Oh, no, no, no. Um, but the, when you, when you were talking on, uh, I think you want to say it was the first episode of Acting Wild Black where y'all talked about how, and I think we talked about it too, maybe. But anyway, I remember that conversation specifically where you uh, y'all talked about maybe you may not get the role now because you're not talented. You maybe mm -hmm. you and another cat may be up there, mm -hmm. but it'll be about the cat's social media. I think it'll be about his uh, social it, media. It'll yeah. be about his resume. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you know, I might be like right now. I got like thirty two credits, thirty three credits. Mm -hmm. I will most likely beat out someone who has ten. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not always. Oh, and that nigga could be better than me on some shit or whatever. Like he might have, mm -hmm. he might have been murdering. Right. But they might just trust me more because I got 33 experience. experience. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's... uh Oh, and to another thing, too. I have to... I am so sorry, uh, Darren Scott. I said that he directed um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Mm -hmm. And I went back to, to, to make sure, you which I should have did beforehand. Now he didn't have a thing to do with it. Oh. <laughs> no, oh. no, no, no. Okay, his thing. Marty fucking up. <laughs> I fucked up. I gotta, I gotta take that L on that, L on that one. And uh, he, the guy who directed it, this I gotta confuse. His name was Darren uh, Grant. Mm. Was the actual director's name, and that's what I got. Uh, I Another got Darren. Up. Yeah, I just got him mixed up. So at least yeah. the at least the dude's name was Darren. It was that, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> if his name would have been like up. Nathaniel Hall, like, like yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck, you Marty? Fucked up there, Marty. Like, like that, you that's didn't a wanted him to direct. You right? You just had him on your mind. I nigga. just wanted him to do it. That's all. But like, but yeah, but like yeah. So uh, 
my dude booked his very first role finally. And I was on NCIS New Orleans. Ah, after yeah. I, I want to tell, I have to tell people everybody in the city at some point going to want to there at some point. Oh, yeah. But okay, but because well for the well I don't know how they do now, but I know the first few seasons they made sure they had New Orleans people in there, you know. Locals, okay. Yeah, That's but good. but um yeah, but it shoots on Friday, which is not only one hour uh, one hour or days, mm -hmm. but we do two we do double shows on Thursdays and Fridays. Double? Uh, you do like we do school uh, matinees oh, on Thursday right, and Fridays, right, right. and then we do uh, you know the, the the night show, the regular night show. Mm -hmm. And when you get booked or something, you don't know when they're gonna let you go. And off the dump, you know what I'm saying? Like on the like if, if we was just doing a night show, he'll be at least have the folk up. Okay, I hope I just got an early call time and mm -hmm. you know shoot and get out in time. Whoopie whoop, that's happened to me before. But if mm -hmm. regardless, he's gonna miss the morning show. But like nah, dog, that's one of the scary things. That's to come out slowed up on theater for a minute. Was because it was interfering with the dude, film I, booking. Son, it'll be for, for at first. I'll be lucky, like I, I might book something while I'm doing a play, and they don't call, they don't, you know, they don't clash, they don't yeah. conflict. Uh -huh. But um, one time though, in particular, a couple of years ago, um, I I did shoot this movie, and it's so fucked up that the movie never even really got full distribution. I think it, I just it just got distribution this past year. This was like years ago. Which one? It's called uh, Carter, Carter and June. But uh. Um, What's this no, no, this wasn't even for Carter in June. This was for Passion. This was the Tyler Perry shit. When he did that live, The Passion on Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember that. And I had a little role or whatever, like saying something. I was with the cooking lady with the glasses, and I'm handing out like poor boys and oh, shit. Oh, you in that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't even I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, man, yeah, man. We was with okay. the really famous cooking lady, man. The <laughs> chef lady with the glasses and the curly hair, light skinned lady, kind of tall. From here? I don't know where she's from. She got okay. a pointy nose. She look like a black Miss Frizzle, but she got glasses and she cook. <laughs> and she's a known chef, man. <laughs> she look like a black Miss Frizzle. For real, man. I'm trying um, to... I can't think of her name for shit. Yeah, okay. All right. But, um, but like... No, but like, yeah. I didn't even know that. Okay. Now, see, I would probably seek that out now. I mean, it's just a little clip. <laughs> but, but, uh, but that's why I had to shoot. And, uh, cause I about to say it's fucked up cause like, but no, no, that, that did air on Fox and I did get my money. But, uh, <laughs> but that's the thing people need to understand. So like for one day on set, you get like a thousand dollars. Like, you know what I mean? Like a regular day rate, maybe like 980 bucks. If your agent twerk it right, you can get up to 1200. But of course, you know, a percentage of that going to be taxes yeah. into your agent. So mm -hmm. you're going to be pocketing probably seven or eight. But if you got a good deal, you might actually pocket it. It depends on how I go. You feel me? Then if you're a guest star, if you get booked up to a guest star cause I, or whatever, and that's even more money in your pocket and your freaking name go at the top of the episode and shit. But you know, it's all kind of things that's perked up that get you looking prestigious and shit. Mm -hmm. So, um, so like, yeah, so you tell the niggas like in theater, like for musicals, you might get a hundred, a thousand, maybe two thousand max in a musical. And that's like how many months you put in for that freaking musical to get close to that. And that's the max you might get on some shit. And that's the theaters here with money. You hear me? Like, there's like two or three theaters here that have money to pay you. Like, I remember one, like, I remember one of them, they was paying nigga every week. I, and I was a lead. I was like, well, I love this <laughs> check, nigga. We, we doing this shit for two months. We getting paid every week, bitch. Yeah. Nigga, what? That was beautiful. I take that on the regular. But your average play here isn't about to be paying you no G's, man. You might get like, mm -hmm. like maybe $400, 500 $600 for the whole deal. The whole run. The whole run, the whole run including rehearsals and shit. So you telling a nigga, I can make a thousand in one day on set. Or I can do make possibly <laughs> five hundred. You know what I mean? Possibly five hundred in two yeah. months. What are we talking about here? Bye. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you for the experience. I'm just, I'm just saying, and son. And for one, like I said, I had to pull out and they had to cancel that night that I was in the place. I was a lead, and um, oh, oh. I was a lead. Oh, that's what we going with that. Yeah, okay. I was a lead. <laughs> we had to, oh shit. Funny enough, this is a play I actually was nominated for a Big Easy Award for Best Actor. Trippy enough, uh, but um, but the thing, the reason why I was able to do that was because the guys that were in the play and the director of the play, we were all like peers, just like bros and stuff. So it was like it wasn't like I basically said, "What, what y'all want to do?" You know what I mean? Because like I want to go do this, but I won't let y'all niggas down. How y'all want to play it? And all the niggas in the play was like, man, go that, go, go have your business, yeah, man. Yeah, go do that with the woo because right. they know what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not always going to be the, on the same page. Though. That was lucky for me. That's not the norm. You know what I mean? Has, has that situation ever happened to you uh, again? No, it's all because I've been maintaining, like, I, I, I slowed down. I slowed down on plays a lot. You took that as an, as an example. Hell yeah, nigga. Forward. Yeah, okay. I got you. Hell yes. A limo, good shit. But like, hell yeah, nigga. Um... 
getting picked up in a limo now? Yeah. Uh, that's you what the text. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what the text. That's a whole other story I can tell right quick. We know Jay Steele and shit. <laughs> I didn't expect that. No, no, look. My days have been funny. But I'm um, like, yeah, dude, that's why we recording right now. No, but, um, yeah, right, yeah. but like, yeah, man, freaking, um, uh, yeah, the, luckily they was all cool. But normally, dog, like, you'll be burning a bridge with somebody if, if they have to the freaking, right. if you if you pull down on them for an actual show. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I told them, like, I told them the situation just like, I just was lucky. You hear me? So I stopped doing as many plays throughout the year and just started keeping my focuses on like Gumball Monster shit or just, you know, TV and film shit. Even though I love theater, it's just, dude, that's not a position you want to be in. You hear me? So it happened to the homie, son. He had to pull out for the Friday show, which got him inevitably fired. And now the homie Raheem about to take his spot. Luckily, Raheem, because an irony of that is, Glassby. And the irony of that is, Raheem was booked in this show even before me playing the role that he's about to play now. But the director found out that he also dates one of the other cast members and she don't like couples. And she had the girl cast first, getting a bigger role. So Keem got booed it because he like, like, really? Well, put like, yeah, fair enough. yeah, so she don't like, unless you like married. <laughs> Like right, that's like, what she said. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, said, boyfriend, yeah, girlfriend, they, boo shit. She like, yeah, all right, yeah, y'all, y'all living together? No, okay, it, nah, it gotta nah, be nah, some nah, next nah, level nah, shit. Yeah. Now I know y'all dating. You know what I mean? So he 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 had to take the lick. So it's so so funny. Yeah. All that shit came right back around to well, at least for one weekend you're gonna be playing this joint with your lady, dog. So it is what it is. You feel me? But um, my nigga was in a rock and a hard place, and I fell for him for that shit, son. And it's like so all this to say, you asked about how's the show going, and you asked me this. Before, the day after all of these things have been happening. One nigga go to jail. One nigga got to pull out and burn bridges and shit. And it's like, ah. Who was your... So th- this is your boy who had to pull out who subsequently got fired, right? In this show. In this and, show. Okay. Who, uh, can... Are you able to disclose who he was playing? He was playing George. He was playing George. Oh. Yeah, George got fired. Or George, well, he had to pull out. Yeah, And okay. he was going to take up George. And yeah, and Bobo is in jail, and someone's gonna take up Bobo. And what I, happened with Bobo? What uh, do you know? Have any details on that? Just kind of bad not a oh, worry. All those because right, all those director called me looking for actors. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. And, I, and I said, I let him. Oh, so him at first was gonna pull in for Bobo, and then George got open, and it's like, nigga, we need you for George. We gonna find another Bobo. So it's like, yeah, that's what's going down. You heard me. But uh, like, but that's the thing. Like, the director don't even know. So like, I was always about to be put in that situation because once again, I just booked this this joint and I start shooting next week. Like this freaking Wednesday coming up. That's why it's like Marty. We got to link up. Enough, if we can get one in, my nigga. You know, I've been putting a podcast about it. It's going to be a, a butt, like three podcasts ago could just come out at one time, it seemed like. We haven't recorded a fly with bats in a minute, dog. Like, they got a bunch of shit I'm trying to fit in right now. But, yeah, I, I got cast in this shit. And um, I got cast in two things at once. Another situation that you do not want to be in. Like, aside from theater versus film, I got cast in two TV shows. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the conflict was is one day. One day they one both day want me. Okay. One, one where they both want me. Yeah. Shooting in the same city? No. No. One shooting nah. in Atlanta, one shooting in New Orleans. But nah. the days that they wanted me just were off center enough that I was like, ooh, I could, I could make this shit work. Yeah. One day fucks everything up. And my New Orleans um, agent hit me. And it was like, damn, we didn't act on our black podcast. But anyway, <laughs> fuck, that's what it feel hey, like. Hey, fuck. You know, it, it bleeds up. <laughs> I did it. I snuck in. <laughs> I, snuck it. I snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Take that arrogant observer. But but yeah, man. But yeah, man. Um, I, and I was like devastated because like at first I thought it was two day conflict and that's what I told my New Orleans agent because I booked the Atlanta thing and I booked this first and it's an HBO joint. Ooh, okay. Nigga. So I got a guest star and roll two episodes on this new HBO show that's coming out. Okay. So like um then I but the thing is I also did I before I knew that happened, I, I um I auditioned for this role in this show. Uh, apparently this black network, I forget the name of them, just like caught this deal. Or whatever mm-hmm. to produce black content like on Comcast and a bunch of other shit, okay. and some of their inaugural shows they're shooting in the NO, and I got cast on like four episodes of that shit. You hear me? So it's yeah. like, which way do you go here? Do you go with the black shit? Yeah, revolution, bitch. Not revolution as in some revolutionary like 
Shit, Fuck these white people, but it's like you're yeah. a black station with black content about to come out. I could be like on yeah. one of the inaugural episodes with Jam, nigga, yeah. being a yeah. fucking yeah. soul collector. That shit was fucking cold. Oh. Or get this HBO money on this freaking national room. You know what I mean? Room. I'll have to bleep bleep this out. Stephen King type of series. Oh, okay. You know right. what I mean? Like yeah. with, with funny enough, starring Ben Mendelsohn. The main character who we just were talking about, we were talking on the last podcast on Captain Barber because we was me and Jess was like, well, we know who you're talking about now, but we don't know who he is. Same, yeah. And so, now come back around him on a show that he's a star of. Now, while while I did, I wasn't very friendly to his uh, his comedy. Um, yeah. If if this was sort of if this was just a choice based off of that, I'd be like, ah. Nah, man. I'm saying regardless of anything, I'm going with HBO. <laughs> no, fair, fair enough. You hear me? And, but that, but that I mean, wanted, yeah, but no, that, yeah. I but I wanted to I do them like both it. for the actor in me. For I like the I like the character in the project. You hear me? And oh, no. for, I like well, yeah. yeah. So it was one of those situations. Yeah. Where it was like fuck turning down the role when you still trying to come up. Hurts. It's like it's champagne problems for a nigga that ain't got no roles. You know what I mean? I'm gonna play it off like, oh my god, woe is me. I have these roles to choose from. But when you actually have those, it's a dude. There are decisions. For all I know, the HBO joint might flop and that black shit might pop. Who knows? And like you, it's hard to predict. Yeah, anything is hard, dog. You don't want. It's like choosing between your children. You don't want to choose between roles. You want to do it all, brand new socks and drawers, nigga. So then they hit me up today. Uh, the HBO people hit me up today and was like, um, yeah, we need you to uh, come for this uh, body mold fitting. They got to like reconstruct like a piece of my body for some reason that I can't say on air. Uh, yeah. But um, okay. yeah, and they was like, can you be here like, you know, Wednesday or Thursday? And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> they go to deal. Like right now, part of the game is there's, you know, local hire shit. When, um, when you decide to be a local hire, that means you basically tell them that you live in whatever city that they're in, so they don't have to worry about getting you into a hotel or nothing. You live there. Mm-hmm. So I have an Asian in Georgia. I have a, I'm a local hire in Georgia because my mom lived there. Anytime I go to Georgia, she rest my head uh, by my mom's house. Boom. Okay. You hear me? So when they when I, for I, this role is supposed to be a local hire only, so when I audition, I have to be available like that. So I'm like, ain't shit. You know what I mean? When it's play over, because I was so happy that my shoot days was after the play. When it's play over, I'll just shoot to Georgia. I didn't take in that, oh, they might need me before this. And yeah, Thursday to Sunday, I can't give you. I'm in this play. I just told them I'm booked to something else. I can't give you. And they said, I'm Monday too early, too late, so I had to be there by tomorrow. Now, as you know, six months ago, I lost my car. This uh, That jump and hop back and forth was way easier for me when I had my fucking whip. Right. Whipless is like I be mega busting my ass off, and I'm like, I don't know if it's too last minute to get a mega bus. So I'm stressing, I'm stressing. They hit me back up, and they're like, yeah, uh, we're going to just fly you out, and we'll just have you back on the same day. Oh. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, I was like, what? I was, what? what? I got fucked up. Like, I was like, you hear me? Like, sh- <laughs> like wait, you gonna like, fly me out fly? for a- I know my name is Bats. You go- wait, nigga, you fly to- me out for one day, you gonna have me back because I gotta be here Thursday morning for the, because that's where I found them. I looked up the mega bus and they gonna, it was gonna be one leaving tonight at 10. It's gonna get there at six in the morning, but then I was gonna do an overnight and get back Thursday at six and then hop on stage at seven, at, at, um, at like nine. That was going to be some bullshit, nigga. Yeah. But they said, we flying you out. You're going to do this mold thing. It's going to take a couple of hours. And then we're going to fly you back. And then we're going to see you when you come back next week. And I was like, oh, this is what that feels like. <laughs> this is dead. Okay. 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 And then this text I got, they said, yeah, we got a limo picking you up to have you there at the airport. Nigga, what? Now, I can't say this is my first time doing that. I first got that fucking trip. When I did the Puerto Rico thing. Oh, yeah. The, Dude. Uh, the oath? And then when I did the oath in Puerto Rico, son, this this was the first time, nigga, you know, they, they fly me out to freaking Puerto Rico, and there's a person with a sign with my name on it, like, on TV. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, they, they really do that like, shit. Yeah, man, hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm going to walk back there. Nigga, I'm going to my phone out. And you just stand you right probably, there. Okay? I should have. Don't move, though, okay? Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, I should have. I should have, I should have, dog. I should have, son. I was tripped out, dog. Like, my name is Big Dick Number Whoa. Like, Say, bro, you mind coming with me real quick? I need you to hold this camera right over my shoulder. I want it to be epic. Yeah, bro. And I want you to get, get, make sure he in focus, too, okay? Look, we're going to be right back. Bro, 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 my nigga, for real, though, dog. Yeah, so, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, nigga. That's good shit, man. I'm, I'm, we, we, we from New Orleans. We're not born and bred in this Hollywood shit, so anything lightweight Hollywood, I'm like, whoa. I play it cool because I want nobody. Yeah. Like, I don't like, I, most of them don't get a chance to speak. 
speak on this type of shit because I don't want every nobody ever think I'm bragging or or yeah. like since I got a lot of like actor friends and shit, I don't want nobody to think I'm like trying to shine on them. So I usually yeah. just play it to the heart. But sometimes I get fucked up. Like <laughs> I can't front. I'm like, yo. You hear me? So dope experience, yes. Yeah, so just now when she texts me, I'm gonna send her because when she called, when she first hit the plane shit, I was like, okay, good. She just gotta get right. cool, whatever. All I have to do is be alive. This she was like, so what's your address? I'm like, what you mean? She was like, yeah, so I can send a car to pick you up to bring you to the airport. I was like, wait, y'all, y'all gonna do all that? I could have made it to my own airport, airport nigga. Yeah, but I mean, if you're sending it, um, you know, 555. Five, five, and I'm still thinking it's a car. Uh, you're gonna send me an Uber. You know what I mean? That's good or fuck enough. Send me a fucking lift, bitch. Just get me there. You send me a limo to go for a fitting. I'm not even going for to the do this. Shoot. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to be y'all like, what a, what a yeah, I love HBO, man. Nigga, well, HBO, man. What's jam, yo? What's jam? That's all I can yeah, say. Yeah, you know? Like, What's yeah, jam, yo? We got so, the like, yeah, it's, it's, the it's been an interesting week. It's been an interesting week on on that tip. And then, you know, in all of this, I might lose my day job. So, you know, it's life. Uh, I've lost okay. so many day jobs in this game. And I, this one is one I really don't want to lose because it's salary. You hear me? Uh, so, it's like... I've been like surviving better this year than I have in some previous years when I wasn't on salary and was with this shit. Right. So it's like, man, Dub, I've missed the allotted amount of days that you're supposed to miss. Even though it's arts based on salary, you got to make up a certain amount of hours to be, you know, qualify for the uh, the money that you're getting. And through other bookings and through freaking um, what through other bookings and through freaking um auditions and callbacks and shit, I've missed days. So now I've gotten the world. And I'm gonna about to miss more days, mm-hmm. and if you don't make you them up, they say when you when you get first get hired, if you don't make up the time, da 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 da. If you don't turn in what you need to turn in, you don't get your last check, and then you on the hot seat or where they gonna bring you back. So I'm just like, well, you know, I'm just gonna get some, you know, some ass mittens. <laughs> you know what I mean? That hot seat about to right. be glorious, nigga. Because yeah. I've often said, like, I've lost other jobs for this. I'm gonna if it's if it's ever a booking or any of these fucking jobs, I love my kids. But if it's a booking, I'm going to get this booking. It just is what it is. Yeah. So. And I, I, at the end of the day, I think everybody would understand that. But, you know, they got to do what they got to do, too. Yeah. yeah. And I, we it's never... That. Niggas... And I, it's so funny, dog. My life has just been connected. It's so funny you bring that up. I got this stage reading that, like, for for this uh, play that this guy's trying to get developed. And, uh, he wanted me to, like, you know, be read for that. And, um, you know, he's paying, like, a couple hundred dollars. I'm not about to say no oh. for... He's about to stand up here and read your play for a couple hundred dollars. Let's, yeah. let's go. So I get to the first rehearsal that we do, and um, the person I'm playing opposite is the last person that fired me from a job because of, like, slipping up because of bookings and this and that. So when I saw her, I just laughed at my, like, I, no hard feelings, I just laughed on the inside, like, this is how small this city <laughs> is, like, you fired me. But Here we are again. Here we are. And guess what, I'm probably, probably getting fired again, so baby, you can rehire, nigga, you hear me? I don't know, I might, I might need, I might have bet you again for a reason. <laughs> Jerry, I'm going to change, man. Let me back. <laughs> I fixed my way. Oh, man. But, man, we've been stalling long enough, I guess, bro. Jay, you got to get here, man. Welcome to the Reviewing That Show. Welcome. This that actor guy, Mr. Bass in the building. I'm here with my other Marty guy, man. We've been talking shit, trying to get Jay Steele here because we're here to do a motherfucking Us review. That's right. Your favorite host, Marty, is in the building. M A R T Y, Edwards504 on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap the chat. Also, go to lowrainpictures.com. Click on the Your 30 tab, where I, your favorite host, co host the show there with. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? The Arrogant Observer. Your 30 with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. 200 episode coming up, recording it tomorrow. Check it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Who knows when you're going to hear this? <laughs> Who knows when you're going to hear this one? You, the, so, that 200 might be out by the time you hear this joint. Hopefully, shit. I'm but then I'm going to that bitch back for two weeks now. But I might just do some fuck shit and, and put, put this out first. It just depends. Hey, you know I, what I, I don't man. know, man. You know, uh, know what's going us on. is hot right now, but dog. Hey. Uh, us is apparently the talk of the town, man. Everybody Look, talking about us. It's on it. It's goddamn trending like a motherfucker. I Boy, got I five oh. on it. Oh my god, that fire ass remix at the end of that joint, Lord. I'm like, okay, so y'all gonna use this record in the movie, and you know what? I like it. <laughs> yep. Normally, I'm kind of like, you know what? I don't know if it's good, if I'm gonna be tired of by the time I'm sitting down and watching it. And I guess I stayed away from the trailer really uh, specifically because I don't want anything spoiled. And 
Yeah, it played just as good. And then, 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 you know, because you got people out here that's talking about, man, you know. See, here go, I, I guess we're going to just get into talking whenever Jay I mean, gets here. We, she we gets. can do some light, you know. Uh, I'm just saying, dog, I, I'm whatever. just, I'm over black people right now. How so? What do you mean when you say that? All right, this movie in particular, dog. Mm -hmm. All right. Get Out was a smash. Everybody loved it. And part of it was because no one saw it coming. Because for whatever reason, we live in a hype beast society where we, we live we live in a hype beast society where, you know what I mean, like, you know, if the hype is saying it's, it's whack, then people are going to just say something whack. If the hype is saying something hot, da 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 and If something too hot, then you go up and Trevor's ready to turn and turn, tear it down. If yeah. something is, this is all this bullshit. I hate the way the public is sometimes about shit. You feel me? So this movie was already, you know what I mean, going, I had all this hype around it versus Get Out. Have all this hype, all this hype, all this hype. Usually yeah. something so hype, you already got the people ready to hate on it. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. All the critics love it. Horror masterpiece. You know what I mean? Whoop de whoop de woo. Harold it, Harold it, Harold it. Then the average black motherfucker see it. And because I feel like you don't really get certain shit, or maybe it's not even your fucking cup of tea, because that's another thing. If some, some cannot be your cup of tea and still not suck. True. And what people have been doing is, since it's not their cup of tea, Hopping on social mm -hmm. media saying that ah, us, ha, ooh, 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 get out, baby, get, get out. out. But uh, but since it's not your cup, you heard me, it's trash. And mm -hmm. I've been getting triggered, not triggered as in, you know, because that's another overused word, but mm -hmm. trash has been getting so overused okay. yeah. and exaggerated. You know, I think we spoke on this before. I've We know what trash is. Yeah. I've seen some trash films. I've even been in some trash shit, you hear me? I know what trash is, you feel me? Us is not trash. No. You cannot like it. You yeah. cannot get it. It cannot be your thing, you feel me? Because I am not. I don't want to get this misconstrued, this next part of what I'm saying, which is we often whine and whine about not getting enough opportunities and how black people are not a monolith and how black people, you know what I mean, we, we were more than just gangster films and religious and Tyler Perry shit and this and that, this and that. Then when we do out-the-box shit, we don't support it. We're the first ones to drag it through the dirt. I'm not saying all pe black people going to love all black things. But I'm saying if it is a black thing that is a bit different, if it's not your cup, just be like, it's not my thing, but check it out. Don't go as trash. Don't waste your money. Because that's what I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. And that makes no sense when, my nigga, we don't get horror films or thrillers normally. We normally get Tyler Perry, comedies. Uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, you know what I mean, now, you know what I mean, and it's not this, this is really some different shit to be getting, and it, and it made 71 million at the box office, so all y'all motherfuckers that don't like it, you're wrong, but, <laughs> like, honestly, if you don't like it, you're wrong here, yeah, I, but, I, <clears throat> but, I, but I just want to say that, as black people, son, like, we have to start having more care for our art than we do, and stop taking it for granted as if we are on the same equal playing field as the white people and their art and what they get to do. Because even though we have had a black president and things are better than 50 years ago in many ways, mm -hmm. we still haven't caught up yet. We're not on the same level. It's not equal. We're just getting this type of shit. Don't discourage other people from seeing some shit. Or don't discourage them from other people from having their own experience. And that's been popping up. Some people just want to be contrarian. Some people, you know, probably were so hyped that they psyched themselves out. Some people, like I said, might not like it. Some people might not get it. But that's been bothering me about this film. Because it's almost like on my time, like like Bird Box. Like the way the con the, like the split can has been. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Bird Box was trash and some of y'all like that. This is... And Bird Box wasn't trash. I, I fucked up. Bird Box was not the best. Wasn't my cup. Could have been better. Mm -hmm. Had some gaping issues. You hear me now? Yeah. Us has issues too. Us is flawed, but it's still a wonderful movie in my opinion. I've been talking too much. What you saying, my nigga? <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, yeah, first impressions, man, I, I, I dug, okay, so let, let, let's, let let's me... not even say first impression of the movie. No, your first impression? What, okay. what, how did you feel when you first heard about this movie? Oh, and okay. what made you attracted to it? Or was it, you know? Okay, yeah, so I'm, I, um... So it, it's just like with uh, with Get Out. I'm I'm associated now with Jordan Peele as a director. Anything he's doing, I'm interested in. I'm gonna show up for. Mm -hmm. I don't really need much much of, to know about what's gonna happen. Just tell me when it's opening, and I'll be there. Pause. Okay. Pause. 
he just recently said in an interview they asked him um, about having white leads in his films. Will he ever have white leads in his films? He said he has. He said I've already seen that movie. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I'm gonna find an article. I just want to okay. throw that out to you because when you yeah. said anything George Pill is doing, when he said that, uh-huh. I was I'm already ready. ready. I, I was already on board. <laughs> but him saying that yeah. made me go, oh, you really make it like. I'm gonna double down. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, no. So, okay. So, also, yeah. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm up for anything he's doing. Now, in this one, I had the problem of talking to. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I see the trailer, and come on, dude. It's Lapita. Lapita and Winston. It's Winston, dude. Mm-hmm. It's fucking. I don't know these kids, <laughs> but they were awesome. Um, yeah, they were awesome, when, but we didn't know it was going to be that awesome. Know gonna not be that the trailer. Awesome. Not at all. Like, damn, not they were awesome, all. right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I don't know what's going to go here. Yo, okay, cool. there were so many things I didn't know that happened that yeah. happened. I was like, whoa. But we also got, a, I, I see, a, I see a, a, a faint image of Elizabeth Moss, and I'm like, I, I, did, I did not her. know she was going to be in the movie until the opening credits. Oh, seriously? Seriously. Oh, okay. I was wondering where she was going to figure in, when I because that's the yeah. thing, because even in the film... That's when the movie goes left, left. When you see it's not just about the family, if you get what I'm saying. Before right, we get yeah. there, you know what I'm saying. So it's a wider, uh, bruh. Because when when this, when, when we got into on. their household, and that's when it went left. Because you didn't. It, ne- yeah, I was like, oh, so y'all could have just did this from the beginning, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but like, so this was definitely more efficient, bruh. But I'm just, but I'm this just was, saying. This we, what they did. But what I'm saying is we didn't even know there was going to be a dim. Yeah, we didn't. That's yeah, my okay, point. Enough, no, I thought it was going to be these black people true. dealing with these, these like, mirror black, black people. I don't know black people that took some inter- Well, no, we know why. No, but, we know why. Yeah, it's it's uh, more personal. It's not yeah, personal it's for them. Yeah, it's okay. a hell of a lot. Yeah, Especially when you get to the end of the movie. It's a hell of a lot more personal. Yeah, we're not trying to go there. But my thing is I didn't know that Elizabeth Moss was in this film. So when I saw her name pop up and I'm a fan of hers from Mad Men. And oh, you like Mad Men? Okay. I like her in Mad Men. And I liked her in a few things. I never seen uh the Handmaidens joint, even never though I know she's been winning awards and shit. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? But I just like her as an actor, and yeah. she, you know what I mean. So when I, I saw her, her name, I yeah. was curious. I've liked her since uh, Get Him to the Greek. Word, that word. was kind of my first time sort of really noticing her. I, apparently, she, I'd seen her a couple times before that and didn't really uh, register. But anyway, that's sort of where I started to take notice of her. Um, uh, saw a little bit of Mad Men's kind of saw where she sort of like because she was on that before you know get him to the Greek anyway mm-hmm. I was happy to see her or I, I knew she was her character there. got very powerful by the end of Mad Men it was interesting watching oh, really? her arc yeah her arc she, start, yeah, she okay. starts as this little secretary and she wound up being a boss yeah owning shit by the nigga end. a boss right, right, nigga yeah. okay fair enough Um, but uh, yeah I saw her in that Did I don't really recognize her husband but he was dope in it too mm-hmm. I liked I liked him a lot um but anyway, yeah, so I, I see this and it's just, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see any more trailers. I don't want anybody to expand upon what they showed me. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm there. I could I would have shown up without this, mm-hmm. just with the mm-hmm. names. All you had to do was say, all you had, really had to do was maybe give me the poster, maybe show me the names of the people who are going to be there and who's directing. I mean, I, I would have shown up. I was there at Jordan Peele, Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke. Exactly. I, right. I, I was, me they, too. Before, me too. I, before I saw a trailer. I was there at the first headline, Jordan Peele cast Lupita Nyong'o in mystery role for the next film. Do, do you think it's cool? or um, I, I find it interesting uh, uh, that um, it sort of seems like for the most part in these big black major movies, we're kind of recycling like the same actors in some way or another. There's like, it's really, really easy. It's a short game of seven degrees of separation <laughs> from say like Get Out to Black Panther to... Uh, you know, now us and uh, just sort I think, of how those. I think you're catching on to something very early that's just beginning within the black realm of films. Yes. Because I know yeah. that if you look at the people involved, that's going to be ri- rising. One. You know what I mean? Uh, Donald yeah. Glover going to use his people. You know what I mean? Ava DuVernay, she's developing all these p- people in the shows that she produces. Issa going to use her people. You see, Coogler's going to always use his people. Right. You feel He's me? Got his squad. Peel is building his. You know what I mean? So I feel like with the more people of black creators rising to prominence and stuff, you're going to see us doing what they did to us, pun intended. You know what I mean? To where we're using our pool. You know what I mean? And you know that 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 can be frustrating yeah, to a degree. 
only because I'm a black actor. So until yeah. I get so and so so I so until I, I get in the click, I'm going to care. But yeah. when I'm in the click, hey yeah. hey guys, yeah. hashtag strong black lead. Yeah. <laughs> Something also too that doesn't seem like it's 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 uh it's non inclusive. Um, you know what I mean? It's uh, just about who getting who on, like who's right around, now, yeah, exactly. who's around, and they they they've, they've strived because what people don't get about the game is how hard it is to get on and how long it takes to get in a position to get an opportunity. Not nowhere near guaranteed to get an opportunity. So it's a mm-hmm. trip. So I'm happy. Like I think you're someone because I didn't think about what you just said, and then when you said it, I was like, oh. Marty's on to something. No, you're right though. Connection. But I, but that's the thing is I feel like people are gonna start talking about that in a few more years. Like you more think? more okay. movies from black people and more projects from black people and more of us using us. I think you. I'm telling you, some think piece gonna pop up and like a, I'm gonna send it to you. It's gonna be like a year from now. Watch. You're gonna be like in a fucking year, dog. I'm calling it, son. I swear, some think piece or two gonna come up about how oh the the in the black actors that are you know. Taking over Hollywood now or whatever, mm-hmm. it's coming. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're fucking right. But yeah, so I'm. You know, like like I said, I mean, I guess just like I guess we're on the same boat here. I mean, uh, we heard all the <laughs> names and we were already on board, and then the trailer came and fuck you know, all the names. Lupita, <laughs> Peel, and then Duke came later. Duke came later, and okay. then I saw it was Duke too. I was like, oh, okay. you ain't playing no fucking games, Peel. I I kind of I t- I'm not gonna lie to you. I I was I'm always. I'm not one of those people who will wait. I kind of, you know, I peeked a little bit at the uh, cast list, so I was just, you know, besides the folks who, I was, I guess, it was a bunch of names I really didn't recognize. Um, mm, I mean, in terms of, because it's only, I mean, I only really recognized like two, three maybe without the faces, and then everybody else. It was just sort of when I peeked at the cast list, I was just kind of really know everybody else. Well, I, well, it's so funny that time passes, uh-huh. so some of these people got more on. So when the yeah. opening credits was happening. I would recognize Anna Diop, who played um, mm-hmm. uh, Lupita's mom. That's freaking chick from Titans. That's uh. Oh, is it? You know, yeah. what? I, you know, Starfire, Starfire from Titans. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm catching it now, but it's like you know what they she didn't um. Fuck. And then we got Black Manta playing her paw. That was Black Manta. Yeah, right? that was. Oh, okay, that was. I was like. I he moved like him. But him. The, the interesting thing about uh, the parents is that we didn't really get a good look at them, in my opinion. I think it was purposely they, done. And, yeah, I think so too. But and it's not, the, and it's almost like they weren't hidden either. Mm-hmm, it's just they. Um, I don't know. I guess it's yeah, just the way that it was filmed. It was just kind of like was, they were almost like the Muppet Baby parents. Like they were there, they were, but did we really see them? Like all we really caught was ankles. And you know, backs so. and shit, and in the backs and yeah. the side views and shit, and that's just very up. Yeah, that's very interesting. With and one thing that I find interesting, just on a meta tip of mm. the way movies go, you could be a no name person when you book one movie. That mm. movie might take might come out the end of the year, and then throughout that year, you might book other things. Because once again, uh, that's Black Manta and that's Starfire to us, but they probably been shot that shit. Yeah, more than likely. And you know what I mean? You know the thing about like uh I still don't know their names. Anna Diop. Anna yeah, Diop. Yeah, Anna okay. Diop, that's stuff I and okay. I I know a boy. Yeah, I know a boy name, I just always pronounce it wrong. It's like Yaya something yeah, Mateen. Yeah, he has yeah, yeah. Something, something, something Yaya something Mateen. I just know his name when I see it now because well, after I found out he was a black actor and he was born in New Orleans and he moved to, right. you know, Cali or whatever, but he was born in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I'm like, boy, you a black actor born born in New Orleans? I'm following your career. Yeah. Then you swagged out on the get down. So I'm like, yup. Yeah, and now you about to be dude, candy, man. <laughs> the uh, swagged out on the get down. And it fucking was hilarious. One of the funniest parts of uh, you Baywatch. Watch. You told me that. Yeah. And you about to be candy, man. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I can't, I can't not, I can't not notice him now. I, I recognize right. him at all times now. That's the, no, he, yeah, and, and I'm thinking in my head like he moves exactly like him. So, yep. but yeah, that, that that makes sense though. So now we've got even more sort of, I now even have more sort of attachment to this in terms of, you know, that whole. Uh, sort of black actor. Uh, they, they all come on, on look at it, I mean? son. We got Starfire, yeah. Anna Diop. <clears throat> we got your boy Yaya Martin. Like we got all these. Like you said, it's this community that's growing. Yeah. And you brought it to my attention, but yeah, and I can't wait for more of these mofo's to just come Hello, through. Ma'am. Hello. 
I was just we have an introduction. Here. Yeah, we just talking in, initial thoughts of the film and stuff. But yeah, who are you? Hi, I am Jay Steele. And you can follow me on Instagram at imjstill underscore. I'm also part of the lovely <coughs> Misbelief Radio Show podcast. Yeah. I said it. Mm-hmm. And I'm also Fat Girl Nola at Fat Girl Nola on Instagram. Hi. We up in this bitch talking us. We didn't get into the movie yet because we just had a... We just tried to stall like hell for you. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Apparently, how would your uh, initial Disney podcast go? We have a really good episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have a really good episode <clears throat> and I was like y'all I only want to do 20 minutes let's just feel it out you know whatever bullshit when she said that shit to me before like it's not gonna be fucking 30 20 it's minutes. like an hour long yeah <laughs> and it's good I was it's okay. funny I use no equipment I use um this app only and I was listening back I was like this sounds really good yeah iPhone have really good sound recording I was like this sounds yeah. amazing like <clears throat> it's ready to go so I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna release Yay. iPhone's really good sound yeah. record. Release it where? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. But I'll get well, there. That happens. <laughs> so, backtrack. I'm gonna put it together and then we'll go from there. What I keep what telling her she can just let it out on the feet. For like, we could just be a new show. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no, you, I definitely would do that. What are y'all? Uh, what are y'all talking about in terms of Disney? Um, it's Gumbo Disney, so it's specifically focusing on. Well, it's not even specific, but we're focusing on um, theme parks. Movies and then urban mm-hmm. myths and random <laughs> shit. Okay. Because it's it cool. was supposed to be like first of all it was seven of us and I was like this is not gonna work. Too many. That's a lot. Yeah. And then people uh-huh. started kind of like people are still in the group but just people just started dropping off so it's three of us now. And I'm like this is perfect. That's what it should it's be. Three. It's just yeah. three of us. I, I I don't think you should have more than four hosts yeah, on we any may given have, like, podcast. A person three. Come on, yeah, four is not that bad. We've I've heard podcasts that make four work. But if you yeah. talking about five, six, seven, <clears throat> it gets crazy. Like I think ideally two or three is like. The, yeah. the, the nice little but four works four. but our chemistry was really good we had I had a few notes we had like no initial structure but it just kind of it flowed so who your, who your, who your cast mates um, yeah. it's Danzel Square and Kia Moffat oh yeah. two That's actors three. yes two actors so um yeah so we did that detail so we talking about us man so what's your initial thoughts on us um, well I want to fuck with you right quick did you hear that metaphor about um I mean did you hear that, that, that thing about how like I got five on it is like you know Five dollars is half on a sack, and they're both selling. They're both sharing a soul. That's why they was using that shit because, like, <laughs> yeah, what? nigga, is you? I got five what? on it, but you need ten to get the weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, son. You need ten to get the weed. I got five on it. Who got the? Let's go half on the sack. But anyway, what you saying, Jay? Still. <laughs> um, initial thoughts about. <laughs> I was wondering what the, the symbolism of that was, and now I know. Oh, there's so much symbolism very, very to the people who are like, there's no deep, there's a lot of deep shit going on in this bitch. There's a whole lot of deep messages. Um, I initially was, was kind of scared, because I really like horror movies, but I'm always mm. terrified when I watch them. Um, I think I was more so curious to see where it was going to go. Um, I kept... I knew that a twist was coming, and I got very close to getting spoiled the other day before I saw it. Mm-hmm. That I was able to kind of like vert my gaze, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to know. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I wanted to know what the twist was. I wanted to know the symbolism because I'd heard so many people talking about it and saying, oh, I didn't get the message, or if you get the message, it's awesome. If you don't, it's poop. So um, <laughs> yeah, my mind was really mm-hmm. going. And then also, like initial thoughts, I knew to check for, um, I knew to check for little, not not Easter eggs, but like little mm-hmm. visual cues in the film. Mm-hmm. Um, just from dealing with Jordan Peele, I was like, let me look around, and I saw a lot. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, like there were little things I caught on to that I was like, yes, I knew yeah. it. So yeah. For me, the movie. <clears throat> see, for me, like. Gore don't fuck with me. Like I can see a motherfucker get like I don't like I don't like like horror porn. Like I don't get into that. You know, yeah. some some that's like how what it was uh, hostile and shit. Where it's just you know, the whole thing that's is about much. cutting yeah. you up as much as possible. I don't get into that shit necessarily. But your average horror movie that got niggas getting killed that don't bother me. Jump scares rarely really get to me, son. The reason why I don't fuck with horror genre most of the time is I think I've said previously they usually have unhappy endings, but also I get into the psychological aspects of it. You know what I mean? The yeah. thing and Get Out that bothered me was all like, you know, of course, it was all the social shit, not necessarily these motherfuckers trying to murder him. Like, and in this, 
what got me was the end, the twist. The twist me like the twist. I was like, oh, you bastard. Yeah, it was fucked up. You heard me. It was like it wasn't just fucked up. It just like the the, the twist itself just had so many meanings to it because you riding the whole time. Like like what Jordan Peele even said himself. Um, he he wanted to fuck with you on it. Everyone's the hero in their story. So he wanted you to ride with this person thinking that they're the hero because they're the hero in their story. Then you find out, oh, yeah, but would have take off the mask and there's a hood underneath. And you've been riding with this whole KKK dick. It's like, you bitch. <laughs> like, yo, like, dude, that really got me because um, I thought, like, and I, a version of the twist I predicted, like, watching it. Mm-hmm. But he did the twist in a way that was like, oh, you went. Like, you you inverse what I thought. Because I felt like, I thought at some point the mom was going to get mixed up with uh, some shit like that. And then at the end of the movie, you find out, oh, they switched places. And now the family don't even know they with whatever the fuck. Yeah. But the fact that, no, he did that at the top. It's got me. I was like, oh, oh you bitch, you made us ride with the fucked up one. <laughs> you hear me? Like, yo, yeah. yo, cheers. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, initial thought. So when I here's the here's the I don't know if this would have affected my my viewing of the movie or not, but I had a friend, uh, you know I have coworkers or whatever, you know we talk to we always talk movies or whatever. Everybody saw it before me, but and that was my problem too. Yeah, I feel like everyone was seeing this movie before me, so I need to hurry up and see this yeah. bitch real quick, right? And uh, so what he told me was, um, you know, yeah, there's a twist, um, but you know, don't don't trip, you may see it coming. In the beginning. What they call yeah. that? Uh, dry spoilers? You can't yeah. say that. Don't so dry you spoil me, me bro. Because you're going to have my mind looking for shit that instead of experiencing. And that told me, trust your instincts mm-hmm. when uh, when I watched the movie. So, as soon as the chick starts... Uh, I'm sorry. As soon as the little girl starts wandering off or whatever and, and that whole thing kind of happens... Great like actor. A, yeah, very Great look. Introducing. She, she did that. Yeah. yeah she was but the minute we kind of cut before anything really, really happens and then sort of every little clue that we get also as we sort of move on from that point sort of told me what was up. Yeah. And um, it was uh, for me, it was up to the movie to say, to dispute that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. uh, okay, so now I, I think you're trying to, you know, maybe fool me or do a sleight of hand here, but I see what, you do, I see what you're doing. So how are you going to make me believe that the card is not still behind your back? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And um, uh, to an extent, I felt like the movie kind of lied in, a, in, a, in an aspect. How so? We'll get, I, you know, I, we'll, we'll talk. How so? But, um, <laughs> you know, getting to, the, getting to that end point, um, I, another thing he told me was, I think it would have been fire, this is his words, I think it would have been fire, had they not, had they not told us exactly what happened, like if the movie had just gone off, oh. instead of knowing for sure what exactly happened in terms of the the swap, when they reveal exactly what happened, when they show it. That's stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That changes though. Break, break, break down to me how he made that make sense for you uh, enough to come to this damn podcast to tell me that. Nah, shit. <laughs> that shit. shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't if y'all know, already know, we do spoilers on this podcast. All spoilers. If you ain't seen this movie, you, <laughs> you shouldn't have pressed play. Nah, you not really at all. Not spoiler. at all. But uh, like, yeah. So you're trying to tell yeah. me that he's saying that we shouldn't have known that. We shouldn't have seen it. We should have just wondered. How would we wonder? Why would we wonder? What, what would make us wonder? I, I, that I don't know. You know what? I, 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 I don't. Know. Because really, cause <laughs> by the end of the I movie, you really feel like you're in the clear. Like, let's say you did mm-hmm. call it. Let's say yeah. you did call it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, they might have been swapped from the dump. They let enough time linger for you to wonder, even by the end, maybe I was wrong. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And then they hit you with, nah. Uh, you actually, you're <laughs> onto it. You, you Dude, got it. even down to Red, the evil, not the evil one, because I fuck with her now. But even down to... She, the first girl whistled, then Red whistled when she died. You know what I'm saying? And like when I see it the first time before the twist happens, I'm just thinking she's whistling to fuck with her because that's what she did to coerce her in the first place. She whistled right. back at her. Mm-hmm. And then so you find out Noah been a switcheroo and you find out, oh, she's whistling because that's the last thing she freaking did 
you know what I mean, before she came down, got swiped oh, out. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? And like even the death in the end gets different. Like I gotta see this movie a second time. Because like, everything yeah, is different once you know the What's deal. And I feel like there's so many little things you're gonna notice now. And now that I'm thinking back, there are a few things mm -hmm. where I'm like, Mm, that mm. makes sense now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also the popcorn guy <laughs> at the concession stand said, dude, you're going to love this movie. I saw it three times. Oh. And I also was, okay, this is another thing. So can I say this real quick? Talk your shit. I got to yeah. side, Talk quick. Your shit, I gotta no. side step this real quick. <laughs> so we go to see us. Yes. Me and my girlfriend. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, as you can imagine, we're both black. <laughs> okay. I think I know where this is going. So, <laughs> I think we know where this is going. Don't so, we? I'm an AMC Stubbs list member or whatever, mm -hmm. or A list. So, you know, you go in and they scan your phone. They need to see your ID to make sure you're you, yeah. you're using it, blah, blah, blah. So, they scan, the guy scans it, doesn't even, apparently doesn't know what he scanned because he, he's like, he, he's talking to me later, like he doesn't know what we're going to see. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah, 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 you're going down uh, to see 12. Uh, 12, right? You, you, wait, you guys are going to see uh, us, right? Yeah, yeah, that's in 12. Yeah, go ahead. You good. <laughs> I'm like, how you? <laughs> did he? And, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm talking to my lady and I'm like, you know he said that because we're black, right? Uh, yep. He's like, we're coming to see us because we're black. That's, that's, what we're see. that's exactly what it is, right? So then I go up to the, to the concession stand and then the, the, um, the uh, you know, guy that working there is like, um, so you guys going to see us, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, and my girlfriend had gone to the restroom, so she didn't get this part. And I'm just like, this is the second fucking time somebody's just assumed yeah, I'm coming to see us. And for the people that's not New Orleans, man, AMC is only located in white areas. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is very true. <laughs> that's true. So if you're going to AMC theaters here, you're... You, you gonna most likely be sitting with a bunch of white people. Did you have a white audience? We had a white audience at Broad. I had a white audience. And I was, I wanted, I really want to know what it's like to see it with a black audience. There's like five black people in there, I think. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm laughing, cause you know when you go see with a white audience and you see some black shit, you find yourself laughing at things that they don't get yet. They don't understand. <laughs> Silent crickets. There, yeah. There's at one point like like. Jumping, you know I'm about to say, Jay. There's this one point when your boy first was putting on his black voice to sound tough to scare the family. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Winston Duke, an amazing oh, reversal it. from yeah. Mubaku, and I, I appreciate that. But like, the, the white people in the audience didn't catch that he was putting on a vo voice as fast as we did. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. caught it and laughed damn near immediately, immediately, and we were like yeah. the only ones. Yeah. But then as it played out, right. I mean, they didn't catch it until he went back and went in again. Right. When he when we went in and went out again and he was extra with it, they were like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And they caught it all. Oh, now we can laugh. <laughs> now we understand. He's I putting on the voice. I swear there was a white dude talking back to the screen, man, in my screening, dude. Really? I swear. He didn't say a lot, but he said enough that I was just like, okay, you just, all right, you're not at home, man, but you're know, coming down or whatever. But, <laughs> but simmer, was, simmer. I swear it was a simmer white down. dude, man. There was like five black people. Hey, like, well, hey, white man, him. you been a real nigga right now <laughs> in this shut goddamn up. movie. <laughs> shut, I'm about to try to shut the fuck up. That's why I came here. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. It's um, but yeah, no, I just I, I felt you like say the white people kept saying, "Hey, you're yeah, going to see that new Tyler Perry movie, aren't you?" Going to see that orange that You going to see that Madea? Another interesting fact, though. Everybody, fuck. Every every theater was playing us. That's fucking creepy. Like every theater, but in like a good way. Yeah. Good. They better play us, all of us, because we're black. Play us. Play us, play oh, us you know all the oh, time. Actually, actually, I should have took a, I should have took like a video or something of that because that that's fucking amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, to take up every fucking theater. A black movie from a black director, right. horror, black suspense, ass. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the black ass family. But uh, being a normal <laughs> ass family, normal -ass that was one of the coolest things that we get to the movie from the top. Like we got to just see. Just a normal ass freaking family, like at, at, you know I mean, it's, it starts with like little, what's her name, Adele, Adele Ola, Adelaide, Adelaide, little Adelaide, you know what I mean, as a girl with you know her, her parents, Black Manta and and uh fucking Starfire, <laughs> yeah, Starfire, right? Oh shit, that was from the DC. That was Starfire from Titans. Yeah, 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 me too. DC That's said they did, they gonna use their people. Oh yeah, you better believe that is mm -hmm. awesome. I yeah, man, and work. from the dump. This girl is so you mysterious looking, and she got this beautiful dark skin. She got she these popping ass eyes, and girl. she's not saying a word, but nope. her presence is just her there. Is huge, especially she, for her first 
uh, project ever. Like, she was amazing. Yeah. She makes you just want to watch her from the top of the movie. Like, what you about to get into? Right. Now, me and Bo J had the moment of, oh, man, she having a whole white girl, man. Why you yeah, wandering away? A white girl moment. Look from your, what is you, doing? you know your mom just told you stick with your daddy. Why the fuck did you wander down to the damn beach? And I like I really the get... explanation of why. I feel like we kind of got to end. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, about why she actually wanted It's like they both yeah. were called. Because she was in, yeah. Right. So, but, okay, I, <laughs> I leaned over and said that if that had been my mom or, like, it, like if that had been um, anything like my mom, my mom would have been like, I don't care if you got to go out. You're just going with me. You know? Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. it doesn't matter. I didn't ask you. Me and you, you are to going go. to the bathroom right the now. Bathroom. Right. Yeah, yeah, so I said no, that wrong. There would be no options. There would be no options now, to say no. Now, pause. You know? uh, a friend of mine said a plot hole he had an issue with was, uh -huh. why did the original Adelaide um, know in the surface world, why did she stay on the ground? Because she, she knows there's a surface world. And yeah, that's a good question. My, my thing is, well, the girl did handcuff her, maybe... She didn't know how to find because your girl seemed like, like she said, even Lupita later at the end of the movie even explains it was like some, it almost felt like some ordained shit. The way you saw the lightning, I felt something, and then we went there, and then she knocked the girl out. So maybe chick at the time didn't know how to get out, and by the time she found the, I'm just me putting this here. Maybe by the time she found the the way out, she was already freaking assimilated into whatever this is because it's, it's it's so interesting of the the tethered uh, where like fucking nothing but that girl got nurtured and became human and i mean became a normal person while the normal one go down there and she just and goes left so like little. nature versus nurture yeah like maybe she couldn't find a way out yeah but also she had tethered parents down there so it makes you wonder like the maybe they didn't let her go maybe they didn't let her go maybe there was some confusion about like oh it's my parents or it's being so life. young right yeah oh I can take I that in like oh yeah, okay it's mom and dad but what the fuck is going on and then eventually it's like wait this this ain't real life that's real yeah. I'm about to text that person because that's that's a nice <laughs> yeah. little connection because we gotta take it this ain't like no teenager she look girl, she look girl. Yeah. yeah maybe six seven and you see something that looks like your parents with no explanation to shit you gonna just yeah you gonna just ride to think they just went left for some shit right. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's interesting. But, like, as the movie gets into it, so, like we say, she gets, she goes to this fun house of mirrors, which is always creepy in the movie. Very creepy. Yeah. Nothing good ever comes from those places. Mm -mm. Ever. And then, you know, uh, we cut from when she first sees her mirror shadow self, where we find out as a tethered self, and to, like I said, this great family. And I, like, I love square-ass Winston Duke. I love the dynamic between the, like, I just love the family dynamic yeah. that we are showing here. Yeah, definitely. We get a little bit of, of, um, like the ride home though, right after after we think that, uh, or I'm sorry, at, well, I don't know, I don't, we, we can spoil it, but uh, yeah, we, we spoil think, anything the fuck we want. As we think, uh, what a little Adelaide? We gonna go with Adelaide, right? Yeah, it's Adelaide. We, yeah. So yeah. when we think she's retrieved, and they're they're riding home, and then we even get like a little bit of a therapy. Oh, session. oh, the parents well, talking, and then wanting their yeah. kid back. Right. Well, yeah. You know what, you know? <laughs> I yeah. want my daughter back. And the dad having that moment where he walks out. Yeah. And it's just like he. He doesn't like. He doesn't quite know how to communicate or talk to yeah. anyone. He just kind of. And that, you know, but once again, on the second viewing, that is different yeah. from first viewing. It feels like okay, maybe this dad just don't have no connection with his daughter, and period. And maybe just don't. That's society. Because some dads of that time were like that. They showed their love differently. Like you know, what I mean, so it's like maybe it's like I don't know how to talk to you. You're traumatized. I don't got the words. <sighs> trying, but when yeah. you look back at it again, it's more like wait. You don't feel your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You I feel know. like you, your normal daughter may have reacted a certain way to you doing this. And when you're not getting the reaction that you're expecting back, you're like. This is a different kid here, maybe. But, uh, but well, it's, it's not. But it's something. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's a kid. Yeah, but, but it's but not. It's not. But it's not. I will <laughs> say, though, at that point. Okay, I will say this. When we get that moment in the beginning where we see. Uh, Real Adelaide's eyes get big, and then it cuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we go to therapy, and they're like, "This isn't my little girl." I was like, Whoa. "I did have a moment for a second, but then it went away." I was like, "Did they switch? Like, did something? What happened?" I mean, if you're used to film somewhere in your brain, you might have just that biting about a film like this. Yeah, because I was like, they didn't. They cut it off right at that point. Something else. She didn't just see that girl. I'm like, something, something ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. And Adelaide, not thinking, I need to sit and watch this whole thing again. again. Thinking yeah. back, Adelaide, growing up, it was very off to where 
a lot of her things in manner like you can tell but but like it could be repressed situation yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah that was the thing where i was like i think she had trauma sucks. as a kid though that's but it's up wondering. to the movie to convince me that no that's the same kid she's just traumatized right you know what i mean and, and, I, and I, I, I bought it yeah i bought it dog i bought it i would have if i hadn't talked you got dry right snitch that's what yeah. i was do i i if bought I everything I, I didn't want nobody to like, say trust shit. Trust your instincts. I was like, trust your instincts. Yeah, I'm like, they got swapped her. Like, so what's going to happen? And then, like, when we finally got to that, I was like, oh, damn. I, I was kind of hoping I was wrong. <laughs> I was, I I was kind of hoping I was wrong. And I the very end. So, yeah. Like I said, they let it ride the fuck out. That hurt. Being and then right. the girl didn't talk. You think she ain't talking? She traumatized. No, the bitch don't know how to talk. Now I'm to call the girl a bitch. But the girl ain't want <laughs> to. The girl can't talk. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because she can't speak English and shit. Yeah, she got to pick all this other shit up. Y'all don't even know, dog. This is some symbolism when it go. I love... That was some good casting between Lupita and that girl. They look alike. Yeah, they and do. Lupita sitting on the couch looking at a spider walk by. And that's the same song she, she was whistling when she got swapped. Mm -hmm. The itsy busy spider. Like, it's just like they keep on throwing these things around. And even down to when she was talking to Emma... And what that's her name? What's, what's the actress? Elizabeth Moss. Yeah. She's talking to Moss. Uh -huh. I have problems talking. Yeah. I know it's just oh. they drop so many little yeah things that, like along the way. Just to say that she was she was somewhat off. But and I accepted also, it. Okay, the like thing I off. most of it I could. She's right? saying because I, I think could. what makes okay. her off is that she's going to this place. She's the only one eating fruit. <laughs> and the rest of them eating fast food. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I go, was like something, something going go, on no, here. No, that's man. That, that, but that's the that's the millennial black woman right oh, now. Man. All the black women eating fruit is going semi vegan, doing yoga. Yeah, oh, that's the. Okay, I, I'll okay. give it to that. Fair she enough, being dude. the millennial I really black woman. Talk to him, man. He yeah, he like had I you as a detective. I, I was got. I got to be so innocent. I yeah, I, yeah could, I just I wouldn't I wouldn't believe the movie. Dog, no, because this one, I, this, okay, what's, what might have hit, what hit me kind of jarring on the slick, this is later, and, I, and even though it's the right thing to do, I don't know when she said it, I went, whoa, is when, uh, when, the, when, when the other her comes later and tells her to handcuff herself, and she said, whatever you do, don't hurt my children. I'm like, your husband did too. <laughs> she said, whatever you do, don't hurt my children. And I said, so up with you, bitch. Why, why, why you... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that made me pause. Like the fruit made you pause. <laughs> and, then, okay, <laughs> and then okay, so another, so like another clue too, um, the fact that all of the other tethered couldn't talk, and the oh, only one that could yeah. talk Is was her. Was, was her? That's why, but that's why she was the chosen one. Because we remember that was explained later that when, that the, the people gathered around her like she was something special. She was different. And she's different because, bitch, I've been... Because that's what fucked with me about this ending. Spoiler, fuck it. The fact that this little girl had seen Up Above and was forced to never have that again was the most yeah, worst the thing ever about it on, in a horrific manner for me. You know what I mean? Like, she don't know... Yeah. She don't, I'm about to give you something about Game of Thrones, but it's going to fly over her head because I'm not going to spoil her. Right. Dorn. <laughs> that fucks with me. I appreciate that because I have no idea. Um, no idea. Okay. But it's still happening, ain't it? As we speak. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Got it, got That's it. horrific yeah, yeah, to me. You know. That's where my brain goes for things yeah. when I see things. Mm -hmm. She don't know. I'm mean, going to leave it there. But yeah. anybody who knows It'll Dorn, I mean, it's you'll porn. know. Porn? See, I'm having to exactly. repeat it. Sure. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, dude, but getting back to where we <laughs> are in the freaking, what we're we talking about as the family, um, he was building that suspense. And they had yeah. these nice little funny moments, like, you know, pops with the boat. And yeah. I just really love Winston in this freaking movie. I love him. It's a total, uh, it completely contrasts who he was, like we said, in Black Panther. But I just really appreciate seeing the black man be this, you know, softer sort of uh Lu Lupita is the muscle in this film. Yeah, she's definitely the muscle. <laughs> but, and I like that he still was brave. He just was square. Was very you know what scared. I mean? It wasn't like he was a whole ass nigga at all. He was still about yeah, protecting his family and he shit. Just corny. He just was corny. Yeah, <laughs> I just dug it. I dug that a lot. 
And you know, he's not... It uh, wasn't a masculine of the black no, man. He no, still no. was masculine. Okay, right. yeah, y'all, so y'all have, like, heard, like, the word, like, there's not a lot of good word out on his performance and him in this I movie. haven't gotten, no, that's one yeah. thing I haven't gotten. They been shitting on him? Well, yeah, I, that was another thing that kind of, some, some, yeah, that, that was another thing that was kind of spoiled that he didn't really dig Winston Duke or, like, his oh. performance, really. Fuck your co-workers. <laughs> you come back with nothing but bad news from them every time. Yeah, I do. <laughs> they really suck. I hope they, yeah. I hope they start listening to something. You guys suck. I don't, do, you, do you like movies or do you? Are you just critics? Do you like life? Damn. He made me laugh but all through the film. That's, I, that's what I was saying. Like I was, because when I was going back, I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna have a popular uh, view. Here. <laughs> what and you I just gotta accept that. Well, you're welcome home, no, Marty. Yeah. You're home now. Oh yeah, I'm cool now. I'm cool <laughs> now. You don't belong there. <laughs> Don't talk to them. Just get your money. Don't talk to them. Okay. So, <laughs> and also, too, so talking to them, I had to, well, I don't know. I had a lot to unpack with this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, and sitting here kind of talking about it now, I can say that I did enjoy the movie. <laughs> I wasn't sure we because it's sad on the, at the end, dude, that, you know, that's what it is now that I'm able to talk about it. It sat with me, dude. Because I knew that's what it was, but to sort of be right. Yeah. And then to have him make that weird ass noise right at the la- at the ending, where I was kind of like. Yeah, yeah, she made like this really guttural. So, and I was like, oh. You mean when she killed that? You mean she killed herself? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I mean, what is, what is, everything made more sense when she killed that? herself because, like, y'all heard that? <laughs> it was, she was already dead. The Red was already dead. And then she went the extra mile and snapped the neck. And then she made that fucking sound. Then she laughed. And that's when it was like... And then, the, and then like, I don't know what happened how she knew that the, the kid was over in the... No, I'm talking about just the death. Right, okay. But what messed me up bringing up the kid was, he knows. Yeah, yeah he, he knows. knows. He, he knows. knows that his mom is something wrong. Like that. He knows. And that fucked with me too, how the kid was like, oh. Now, I was still wondering how he know. Did the other one tell him or does he just... He just kept seeing his mom kill people. Because that messed with him, too. Because he kept being around for his mom doing some vicious shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was like, what's up, moms? Yeah. You dig? But I, I don't know. It was just a, it was just a perfect was, ending because it sat with me. Something yeah, else yeah, I noticed, yeah. too, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that, and you pointed this out, uh, Bats, was that there was a part at the very end before fake, sl- fake Adelaide um, <laughs> went to go find her kid where she runs, but it's like a crazy looking, like if you catch it, it's like a, like how the tethered run. That bitch fast. No, that was later. That, no, that, that was later in the movie. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking you're talking about at the top when she thought he was missing. No, no. <laughs> later in the movie, when, when, when Red, when Red run. take the son and she looking, the people just break. <laughs> yeah, she just runs straight to the But she Red, runs so Red fast. Doesn't, Red just kind of like Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah. she's like, very nice. Yeah, Wait. I feel like that was another sort of indication. Wait, pause. That. Pause for the, we didn't say this at the top. The Pause for amazing shout out props to Lapita oh. in this film. Oh, oh yeah. They talking about award buzz and yes. she, deserves she deserves all the award them. buzz that's coming. This oh woman killed this fucking role. Huh, look at the tether, guys. But anyway, this, this <laughs> woman killed this freaking role ate it alive she had a different body composition being red she had a different vocal thing like she had so much going on the faces some of it some of it borderline some of it uh borderline on a little over the top at times but i enjoyed it it still yeah you dig yeah. um but i just want to throw that in there y'all can keep talking i just want to throw that because we gave winston duke hip props but as if lupita ain't the number one star the motherfucking movie like, because this to me is the first time she actually gets to soar in a film. That's yeah. This is her film. Yeah. Like, she, she shined in 12 Years a Slave, but that's edgy for a movie. You yeah. know what I mean? She then did Star Wars, A Voice. She then did uh, Jungle Book, A Voice. She did Black Panther, Bozeman's film. You know what I'm saying? Bozeman's film, but also we got to see her more so than we have before. Yeah. In a much cooler light. In a too. much more normal light. Um, normal. Because yeah, she kept on being these like niche characters, you know yeah, what I mean? Right. But it's still not the or freaking. Or barely there at all. Yeah, son. Like, so this film got to let this freaking. Was she a Yale graduate, Harvard, one of them? We got to let this mother. She Juilliard. She was from one of them yeah, joints. Yeah, Juilliard, Juilliard, I think. Right, right, yeah, like, yeah, and they, 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 it's funny as them two was classmates. So that's beautiful that's that funny. one wants to do with classmates. When I found that, I was like, oh, that's that's fucking beautiful. That's awesome. But like, she got to really carry this film, and she more than did. She did it. She did that. She did yeah. her thing. Um, Definitely. But like, um, 
like, <laughs> so there was this moment between her and Winston Duke at a point because you she starts unraveling the more that she's at Santa Cruz, right. and um, when she starts breaking down him, that she feels like the girl is going to get her because the guilt. Because the thing is, she's been repressing things, but now they're starting to open up more and more. But some people wonder if she knows that she's the tethered all through the movie, or did it just click at some point in the movie? Oh, okay. That's been a question okay. that's been raised as well. Okay, that's think, an interesting question. I think she knows. I think she Based knows on that so. ending, she knows. But no, 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 you can't go to the ending. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Did she... Just because the thing is, did, her mem- did, did the memory come back at some point while she was dealing with this, or from jump she just knows I I, I fucked over this girl <laughs> from dump, you I know? Think the minute she's looking at that spider when she's sitting on that sofa, I think she knows. Like she's fully she caught knows. up. She's fully yeah. caught up. But ma- maybe she's caught up when your girl once upon a time. <laughs> 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 maybe she runs that story, you know? Because it's very interesting how it all went down. Like, cause it's like. They, they take their time to get us there, but then when we get there, they don't let up. You know, like, she she broke yeah. down to her husband, and then next you know there's a family outside. <laughs> Little bro likes family outside. And everybody wants to be somebody else, even when they're chilling with these white people. he The, the husband want to be down with the white man so bad, he wants acceptance. And it's the white woman, she wants to be someone else. Everybody wants, like, ah, capitalism, commercialism. There's so much, There's so much going on here, man. And their shadow selves are meanwhile. <laughs> what is Eating your... Sh- raw rabbit meat. And, you know, number 11 keeps popping up. Yeah. And the twins are actually 1-1. One, one. When you see the twins, the white twins for the first time, the way they come up, they, they actually are 11 when you look at them. They're 1-1. Wow. They're, one, one. they're twins. They're 11. 1-1. One, one. They kept on having that number happen. <laughs> Telling you, dog, it's I'm out there in your face. Human They're human 11. Because when, when they first pop up, they cop together, standing up straight and shit. I was like, oh, I see what you're doing there, sir. Mm-hmm. Find yourself. But um, that one another thing I didn't catch, when the white, when the boy was walking on the sand on the beach when he was first getting lost, and they got the, the tethered version. That's the first version of a tethered guy that we see. Um, the bum that had the 1111 11 up. Um, yeah. We see he died early on, and that makes Lupita checking him out make you wonder: she low, does she know <laughs> that? Yeah. Oh, maybe one of these people killed him or not? Question marks. But he's the first one because the movie starts. We even talk about the movie starts in the eighties with these freaking the holding hands commercial, mm-hmm. all this freaking random television, freaking yeah, the hands across America yeah. Uh, commercial. Yeah, John Pilsy threw in that because he he saw a random video of it recently, and the motherfucker was just uh, creepy to him as hell. <laughs> he's like, this is creepy. I want to use this. It's a little unnerving. But he's the first guy to start the uh, hand holding. I didn't catch that the first time. Oh. Yeah. That's what he's doing. He's yeah. starting that line. Oh. That's why he's standing That's like he's that. He's still there. Yeah. And he yeah. Oh. He's starting it. Oh and he's waiting God. for the rest of them to come at the he top of the film. That guy. Oh my God. To that, take that spot. Yeah. To oh stand God. there and start it. Oh my God. Trippy, right? Oh my God. My brain. Told you the second <laughs> time around is just beauty. Oh yeah. God. That's amazing. It's just beauty, though. I thought that he was going to do something to the kid. I thought he was oh too, God. and I thought like there was maybe gonna be some sort of play on that later, because then he draws the photo of him, and she uh-huh. looks at it, and she's like, "Who, who is this?" And he's like, mm. uh-huh. <laughs> like, like, "That's it, that's it." That's I, just drawing, I just be drawing, I just be drawing shit, bro. <laughs> and I don't got no rhyme or reason, ma. I don't know. You hear me? And it's just trippy that they start off like the mom and the son are so close, she like protect you, make sure nothing happens to you, and then by the end of the movie, he like. I don't trust you. I don't, I don't know who you are. Oh, God. That is Boy. wild. Because they have all these tender moments. My nigga tried to get some pussy. And <laughs> Winston is hilarious. Like, dude, he was hilarious yeah. in this movie. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. <clears throat> Fuck your your coworkers, man. You Fuck. No, they Oh, no, wait. No, but you said it's not just them. You said it's other people saying that they don't like yeah, his, in terms of his, yeah, his character. Duke, yeah, no, Y'all not just a lot don't of people. What are they saying? Y'all just don't want to see like, black men come in different personality types and different like we don't all have to it doesn't have to be the same caricature and it's not taking away his masculinity right and i appreciate that there's another uh, review i, I uh, listened to after uh, watching it where they didn't find him very funny they didn't think his delivery of his jokes and stuff were sorry like, they didn't laugh. don't agree i, agree I thought that. it was I completely the only well. thing about his performance that someone was i was like dude what the fuck is that he was so like put together through some really fucked up shit. 
Like, mm-hmm. he kind of held it together. And I'm like, you're not fucking losing it right now? Like, he was very kind of... No, he like, was scared, though. He was mm-hmm. scared, but I feel like in some parts, he was just very kind of like, huh? Oh, <laughs> what's going on? Well, that's all right. We're going to do this now. And I'm like, okay. It's a weekend. What yep. the fuck? <laughs> right, dog. He had to be a man. That's the thing. He never wasn't a man. Yeah. He never wasn't strong. He just was, like we say, he just corny. And like, because even when she was going on, he was scared. But when it came time to man up for his family, yeah, I'm going back and save them. I'm going to do what I got to do. I still respect uh, my wife. My wife seemed like she handling this shit. I'm, I'm, going, I'm only on one leg, but let's get it in. You dig? But... Um, as Lupita broke down the story to him, this is this is the moment where when I remember when I said that the movie sort of lies in a in a way, she tells the story differently from the way that it happened. Like she sort of cuts off the part where she says she switches, she switched with the girl. Like she didn't she didn't tell that part again. What if she don't know at that point of the movie? On the flip side, but on the flip side, she tells her truth. They show us a visual. Mm-hmm. So you got to take this in. She didn't not say she answered with that girl. <laughs> I didn't say it, but it was conveniently left out. Yeah. You know? I mean, she said, dog, I bet, what's the actual dialogue here? Now you're going to make me hold up. I wandered off. I don't know why. I just did. I ended up in that hall of mirrors. There was another girl in there. Yes, she did. She did. No, you did. You. She looked set like this girl me. Up. No. Exactly like me. She was in the hall of mirrors. She wasn't a reflection. She was real. She was real. She. I ran. My whole life, I... She's still coming for me. Okay, well, whatever happened, happened a long time ago, right? You know how sometimes things line up? Yeah. You know, like, coincidence. Like coincidence. No, son. She left enough out. That girl told her she, she wandered away. Very she went up them stairs. What she happened. saw a girl look just like her. Dragged her this, ass back down. Then she ran her ass and on out. Her ass, stole the girl's t shirt. She didn't mean she Sinister remember that. Sister smile walked away. She, she, she didn't remember that. She didn't remember that. She didn't remember that. She, she, she didn't remember that. It left her. She was nine. It left her. She didn't remember that. Had to teach herself how to talk. She was 11. She or nine. Didn't know how to she was 11, 11, 9, oh, 9 plus 11. She was something that wasn't going to remember that shit. Um, yeah, I was about to say, well, that's, I was about to say her explanations sound tethered as fuck, but I'm like, wait, yeah, she did drag her down and chain her and take her through. She ain't remember none of that. Yeah. She smile easily. She ain't remember none of that. <laughs> and saunter out. She ain't remember none of that. Go up the escalator. She ain't remember none of that. And go through the front house and walk out the door and go on the She didn't walk, walk the out the front house. The girl just told you she ran out the front house. Out the front house. Oh, <laughs> she, she ran, ran out the front house. Went up the pier. Did she? Went to her mom and daddy. That was her mom and daddy. Mm. So I'm just saying. Uh, I, that's all I'm saying. I that felt, was her mom I and daddy. Like so, at that moment though, I am Team Red, but I'm just saying. I'm Team Red too. I at that moment though, I'm like, well, hmm. hmm. This is the first time they instill a little bit of doubt, doubt for you. Was in when yes. she broke down that story. She broke down that story. That's why I'm like, because even if I hadn't talked to old boy, I probably would have been like, at that moment, I probably would have said, oh, okay, then well, maybe they didn't swap, mm-hmm. you know. But talking to him and just sort of, kind of, I don't know if he said it or how I got this impression. You went on, thought, you went in on Detective Pikachu in- mode. Yeah, man, to trust your instincts, bro. If you think that they've switched, they got they've switched. switched. And like, mm-hmm. I was just like, I don't, I don't yeah. believe it. I just don't believe I it. I wasn't like, there, I dog. I, I, I got to be a happy little ignorant boy. Yeah, see, I, I kind of was there because, especially now, like, oh, okay. for me, it was the fact, I'm telling the fact that it cut off right where it did. I was like, we're not seeing something. I knew we weren't seeing something. I just didn't like figure something. it was that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. You hear me? And like looking at it back, noticing like Red was on where I could talk. It was right in your face. 
She was the only one that could talk normal words. Mm -hmm. No, but wasn't the white people talking to each other? No, they were just making them dumbass sounds too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's the only one that could talk. Yeah. And she's hadn't talked in forever, it seems. (laughs) Yeah, right? Like, what's the point? Right, right, right. I'm down here with these people. They don't know what the fuck I'm saying. They don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Shit. I'm just different. Yeah, I'm here. So when they first see the family, that was creepy as shit. It it had a bunch of horror films that it uh reminded me of with that. But my deal was Winston, dog, why are you going outside? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those Gabe. things where I was just like, all right, Ben, this is one of those moments like, where it's like, come on, dude. We, yeah, we know. I think at this point, I literally would be yelling at the screen, dude. Like, why are you doing this? Stay your ass. Stay inside. your ass inside, but dog. Black. He makes it back inside though, and then goes and back out goes again. Back outside and goes back time. out again. What a bad. Without a gun. No, right? if you ain't got no gun, don't go out talking I mean, no, no shit. Yeah, Cause then a bat. nigga beat, kind of beat you up through the door while you're holding your clothes and took the bat from you. Then fucked you up with your bat. I was that done. Was I was done <laughs> when um when we see them scurry away. I was like, oh shit. Oh, that yeah. little boy and little girl was wild. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. little boy and little girl was wild, wild dog. Yeah, she was sinister. Yeah, just. Wipe that sinister off your face? Because for a split second, yeah, I yeah. thought the little boy wasn't playing himself. And that's why he was going to keep the mask on. And when they was like, no, all of them are playing each other again. I was like, oh, yep. these are just a, just some great actors you got here, yes. Jordan Peele. actor, actors. Little boy on up to the, to the big boy. Right. God yeah. damn it. You feel me? Good. And the fact that it's so personal, I'm making it a game, said Red. It's just like, Lupita, when you first see her as Red... It's just some other shit. It's amazing. From every just, 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 just yeah. and, and she gonna have people, you know, crying. You gotta cry to be in a Jordan Peele movie, bro. You gotta <laughs> cry. You gotta be the cry, cry. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a requirement. It is a goddamn requirement, dog. Um. So at this point in the movie, when the family meets themselves, dog, what y'all thinking? I just wanna know what the fuck is going on between yeah. these sheets in my home. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Contagious. Oh my God. Um, so, no, nah, yeah, I'm thinking, well, at least I'm, I'm just, I'm like, okay, well, we're here, this is all part of the trail, this is why you got me here, so, uh, let's, what, what's the story behind this? And then, I don't know, they, we get into this long kind of monologue from Red, sort of, uh, kind of breaking down her side of the story, which, um... I also like how Red is in the dark and Fake Tethered is in the light. In the scene when they first met. But she yeah. still doesn't tell us that she was switched. She doesn't either, right? Yeah. Neither so, of them said in their stories. Right. And that's an interesting quirk there. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, they just it's don't acknowledge. It's an intentional omission, mm-hmm. but it makes sense. But her deal is still the point of, because, you know, she's, ba- 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 um, what's the word? she's bought into her revolution. Yeah. yeah. Which is, it's mm-hmm. fucked up that... This is what's going on. Because, of course, you know, she, she got to be there and grow up there. That's when she, well, I would did this experiment, whatever. Because I'm, feel, I'm feeling like, you know what I mean? The, like, you realize almost halfway through the movie that, oh, Jordan Peele put us in a fictional world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's got, and I think that's what's fucked up some people who don't like the film, too. Because mm-hmm. they went in thinking it's a natural world. So when this other shit's happening, yeah, they're like, what? Obviously. When it's like, no, you need to take in that he's narrating it differently, but. This is a fictional world. This is a world where this happened. These people are living underground and they're connected and shadowed. Like, that is all, that's some freaking cartoon shit. That's some anime shit. That's some fiction shit. That's some sci-fi shit. He, 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 he threw you in his sci-fi world and was like, catch up. That's exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Catch up. That's what we're doing here. In this world, this is what happens. Because at first I thought it would maybe just be a Santa Cruz, but then when you get to the end of the movie, it's stretching so goddamn it's far. everywhere. Yeah. The goddamn hands across America. It legitimately is, dog. And holding hands ain't necessarily. And, 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 the, and the beauty of that, how like it makes you think of like demonstrations of protest in these yeah. days. Like, what are they doing? You know, what I mean, we can all hold hands and stand out together, but is that making the world a better place or not? They got so much shit happening <laughs> when I'm watching it and thinking about this goddamn movie. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so and the scissors, you know, to cut the tether, the bond. It's crazy, yeah. but um. What you think is about to happen? That's what I was trying to figure out because I'm like, wait, what? I understand her, her, her. Clearly, there's an issue here. She, um, 
Uh, for me, I don't know. I was I really thought about this, and I'm like, wait, do are they gonna actually kill them? Like, what? It, it, I really had like a long thought process here because I really was just like, I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. And then for me, it really hit like, oh, they're here to kill them once we see um their white friends get killed, like off dumped, and I'm like, oh. But she just had to toy with him because she could have busted yeah. in there and murdered him like the white people got murdered. Mm-hmm. Well, see, yeah, that was the thing. I, I like the minute. Uh, well, I'm kind of thinking that they're gonna die, but I'm almost for sure, for sure, thinking that they want to. They're there to kill him when Winston Duke get, gets dragged off. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's not a friendly drag. Uh-uh, off. It's going like, down. But it made me it's wonder like, too. I'm you. like, do they want to switch with them? Is that what this is? Like, what? What are we about to get here? Where is this going? Yeah, I was wondering if they wanted to switch as well, but like she's really wanted to play a game for whatever reason. Well, I guess the toy with it because you know you've been to thinking. Her, yeah. yeah, because when you watch it for face value, you're just thinking, oh, she didn't get it when she was a girl. She coming to get her now. Yeah. But then when you realize afterwards, no, this lady was on Revolution at, on Revolution Street. She just got a personal vendetta because each one of them feels a certain way about their tether. You know what I mean? When you think about it, like the, the evil psycho girl monster, then when you find out that you're forced to link up with the tether. So, like, her gay, her Abe is really fucked up as crazy nigga, but she has to be tethered to him because that who they're forced that's together. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that's so. sick as hell. She got she had a kid just because you had a kid, but my kid a whole monster because we can't nurture her the right way she got to be, and she's going to be resenting her other side. So it's like all this going on. You have a freaking monster motherfucker that just sets shit on fire, and then you wonder, is this boy setting shit on fire because his real version keep playing with this fake-ass little lighter that thing as a magic right. trick, and he probably down there with a real lighter? I don't know, but it's just wild. Oh. So yeah. I'm. <clears throat> I got maybe like five more minutes, but I want to say I would have. I would have. I would have. What I would have found um, interesting, and I don't know if there's if this could have been a way to go, but I would have knowing just in my head now that that you know that they were switched basically, yeah. right? What if it would have? What if we knew from the beginning? that she was switched and we sort of approached it from from that angle you know i mean what that's mean? what the rewatch is for yeah oh you think Cause okay fair you know. enough you know that's because no matter right? what when you rewatch it you're gonna have that experience for life second question i like being able to watch it without knowing yeah fair enough what like fight club yeah, like we watch Fight Club the again. It's time, the yeah. first time it's a mind it's like, fuck, wow. but and the then, second time it's layers. Time. You know, what I mean, it's like oh, 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 you yeah. know. And it's like all that other shit makes sense when he, yeah. he's, he thinks he's two people or, or, or they're two people and they're having a fight that with is, the both of right. them. Right, that like, is just like Fight Club, yeah, son. These true. type, I love rewatching movies like this because all the Easter eggs is just a treat. Because some so, movies I don't really feel like watching twice. I, I have a question for you too, too. Also, <clears throat> so when she's gone back to this beach or this uh, vacation house before, mm-hmm. this isn't the first time they've been there, right? We all agree, right? But he said it's been years. It's been yeah. years. He said that years. earlier that he, okay. yeah, it's been years since they visited that spot. On top of, um, they never go to that beach. Beach, right? Yeah, fair enough. So but maybe they, going, didn't, they didn't even go to the beach though. They they met him at the house. Yeah, which but they done at any but point. she might have seen them at the beach. Okay. Now you might have a plot hole here. Oh, if you're tethered, then you know what motherfucker. But no, you don't know. You just underground. You don't know where niggas going. But so maybe it was her going to the beach that alerted her. Oh, you back back. Okay. Because okay, because okay. something about the beach is what started their shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just give it to the beach. Yeah. As all that because she didn't want to go to that beach. It no, wasn't about yeah. going out here. She was about going on a vacation. That's why she's going on a vacation. Right. She mm-hmm. wasn't trying to go to that beach. Only reason she's going to that beach is because his partner won't meet on that beach. Right. Okay. So right. I think that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give him that. I'm going to give him that. The little I boy in the, in the closet that. was creepy as fuck at first. I love that scene. Oh, yeah. Great I scene. It. I love that. I love their whole, um, their whole relationship. Dynamic. It was really interesting. The two little kids, yeah. I appreciated it. I really did. Cause that little boy scared the fuck out of me. Oh, yes, that little boy scared the fuck out of me. But dude, um, I don't think he wanted to kill himself. His other, so, the, the no. tethered one just wanted. To, he felt like he wanted to play I for yeah, real. I don't think he yeah, really did just want to play with him. The rest of them though was on some murder shit. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there's no yeah. question about I'll, the little girl. Give, she, yeah, 
That little evil motherfucker. Yeah, she was great. Ooh. She was great. Can I give props to the evil version of her? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. The other, I'm just like, God damn, this is a night and day transformation. Yeah. yeah. This is wild. Wait, now, I didn't understand how daddy died. Like, okay, he had a whole di- situation. I love the situation in a boat. I love mm-hmm. everything about that. And then they got caught in the water. And the whole time it's like Jaws. Like, Jordan Peele was doing all kind of shit in this movie. <laughs> yeah, he had that. What's the movie when the niggas uh, come over and terrorize the family? Ooh, that, okay. Because he had Sidebar, the- that movie, I, I can't watch it. But that, he had that he had that um elements. He had that so many, I forget the name of that movie. Sick ass fucking movie. Lawrence knows. Uh-huh. But um Wait, which, which Man, the movie went they made a remake. It was yeah, a British movie, then they twice. remade it like freaking shot for shot with the two boys. They look yeah. innocent as fuck. And they knock on the family guys, door and they, and they terrorize this goddamn family. Yeah, the married the newer version, they'll be yeah, watching that. It's and, so disturbing. And they freaking kill all of them. But oh, you so And the whole time you watching the movie hoping that they could somehow oh, make it and they don't. They just torture these people. And they die. So this is the real inverse because the black people live. I'm so happy Joy Peel gives, gives, keeps giving us good black mm, endings yes, where the black people don't please. die. That white people die and uh, move. Um, the, uh, that family was amazing death from. She said, Ophelia called the police and the fuck the police come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> For her that drag. Like that whole scene. Because that's got, that was creepy. When them twins came from the top and just murdered their counter selves. Yeah, that was, that was very creepy. That's what I'm saying. They just, but that's when the movie goes left to me because you don't expect everyone to have twins at that point. You just think it's tethered. You just think it's just the black family. But that was the we, first point where they go, oh no. This expands. But this didn't, expands. Didn't we get at some point in the previews that there was like I, I felt like I knew that they all were gonna have. Tethered. Not me. Maybe oh, I ain't watched no, that preview. Didn't that. I didn't know that. No. Uh, uh, I, they only kept showing the black people in all the previews. Or at least not one that I saw, but I did, right. I did stay away after the first trailer. Yeah. I kind of tried to stay away for the rest of them. I don't really remember seeing them in a commercial, but I know, like I said, man, the movie the movie just really felt like it opened up in a different way when, when the white family's doppelgangers came. And they couldn't speak. And that also gave us some of the early um, hints that um, it, that's something else that was special about Red, that she was the only one that could speak. All the rest of them kind of mimicked some other, like... Yeah, they noises, just make, like animals, primal noises. noises yeah. Yeah. That really didn't hit me until the end with the big reveal, where I was like, "Oh wait!" I was like that. It was there the whole time. It wasn't even <laughs> see it, or at least I didn't see it because I really didn't think about it that deeply. That she was the only one that spoke, especially yeah. since she spoke so, like, Brody. like it was difficult. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like yeah, like she had. You know? it wasn't something that came natural to her. She had to learn over time, right. but. She already knew is what we find yeah. out. Mm-hmm. And the, I don't know the white people with the grunts. Some of it felt a little bit over the top at points because you know we didn't catch. Because I don't like you said, I didn't catch on that they couldn't speak. So I'm like, why are these motherfuckers grunting? Like I, I, had to, I had to catch up to that. You know what I mean? And I don't, it uh, the non-speaking thing actually wasn't something that uh, came to me uh, early, but there was a there's a moment I think it's when the the dop- the the tethered husband is getting killed outside and it seems like she wants to scream and make noise but like nothing comes out yeah and like at that point i was like well maybe she can't make any noise or maybe I mean, she can only do you know those grunts that they're doing or whatever you know like it didn't um uh it didn't uh dawn on me until then and then it gave, it gave me more information as to why uh winston duke's doppelganger guy was kept on making these Things I remember was in the boat, and he just kept on making these grunts and these not mating calls, but these calls calling out to the oh, others. Yeah, like, what's going on with this shit? But then you find out, no, that's how they all speak to each other. So he could have been speaking to any goddamn body. He could have been speaking to the Yeah, you never go get him. You know what I'm saying? We didn't speak too much on um, the deaths of like, okay, so Winston Duke got because because they, they get to the point where the whole black family reconvenes. And uh, at the white people house, and at this amazing little snatch of the pizza inside the freaking uh, into the house, and that that was cute for herself when she goes and knock on the door, and then the white people just bring her in the house, and it's basically up to the kids. I think daddy's yeah. still on the boat somewhere, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. So it's up to the kids to kind of save their mama from you know these, these crazy white people. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like everybody got their turn at bat to uh, play hero for each yeah. other. Yeah, like everybody had a body count mm-hmm. uh, by this everybody point. Did. Especially yeah. the little girl. I was like, well, all right, little girl, I see you. I mean, her doppelganger was nuts. Her so doppelganger was nothing nice. She was a complete savage. 
So yeah, she had to be. Shit. Like, a lot of the white people got killed early because her doppelganger killed that random white man. Yeah. yeah. And the white family got murdered by their doppelgangers. <laughs> Not a black. What an interesting the reversal there. <laughs> See, but, for white people. Has any okay? I, I heard somebody mention this, but I haven't gone back and watched. So all the dead bodies that are scattered throughout as, as like the, the other tethered have killed their uh, doppelgangers yeah. and they kind of spread out throughout the, um, I guess the fair or carnival, mm-hmm. wherever they are. Does anybody remember seeing any black uh, bodies? No. no. Any black people? No? no I, don't I, didn't, I don't remember I, seeing I don't remember them either. either but I was like, I can't, I can't prove it, but maybe they're right. Hey. Maybe they're right. I thought that was interesting. No, it's like it's clearly this a is deliberate the man choice. said that he has no plans on having any white male leads, well, any white leads because he's seen, he's seen that, that movie, movie before. He knows that. It's so uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I wouldn't put it against them at all to have done that. I wouldn't too. Yeah, it, it's it's cool. It's interesting that he just like there's this movie is just peppered with so much. Like it's it uh it rewards you on know, rewatching. I think. Yeah, it definitely does. That's what I was saying. Cause a lot of people like want to come want to compare it to Get Out. And I think that mm-hmm. technically Get Out is a better movie, but I think Us is a more fun movie. Yeah. Especially on rewatch. I don't think that they can be compared, honestly. I feel like really? they're two very different movies with two very different tones. I don't I don't think that comparison is fair. I've heard a few people say, Oh, this is not as good as Get Out or Get Out was better. I'm like, no, but these are two totally different. Like separate them completely. Don't even I mean, he called I this, agree. He called this a horror movie, and he called Get Out a documentary. So, yeah. oh, did he really? I mean, he called this a horror movie. You know, before he kept on saying no, Get Out was a documentary. That's what oh, that was. Oh, wow. Okay. Joke that he kept on cracking <laughs> about Get Out. Okay. And I, one thing that bothers me sometimes too is like, there's a lot of plot holes in this movie, of course, because that's what happens. Yeah. But mm-hmm. people are picking on this movie's plot holes as if every horror movie you've never seen in your goddamn life don't got some kind of. If you think too hard, his mic not so connect. So it doesn't make sense. Yeah. My biggest issue, and I love the way the girl murdered, <laughs> murdered, just straight murdered the white girls. But my big, my only big gaping plow for me is I really wish they would have kept the tethered situation in the one city, in the one town, because then it would have made more sense to me that this this underground world happening well, because I can't yeah. believe that there's this underground world happening all over across the country the world. That's why the across the, the world and you're feeding them all with rabbits from yeah. nowhere it's just a lot and they all got the same <laughs> jumpsuits and clothes <laughs> all the same like I can't like we, like I understand why you stretched yeah. out to the world conceptually that's why on some artistic uh license I give it to them mm-hmm. but like that, that that is that is the plot hole I would entertain is yeah it is like it is it was such a grand scope for the tethered ver- the, the concept and you didn't, it, you didn't outwardly say that this was some supernatural shit happening. You just made it seem mm-hmm. like it was scientifically engineered. And when you go that route, that makes it more, makes you more real, real reality. And then people ask questions like, so when these tether folk, um, when their other sides go on like freaking vacations, do, what do you do? You just yeah, run into happens. a wall for a long time for like nine yeah, hours. Yeah, I guess you just, yeah. you just they would have broke through buildings by now. Yeah. Be like, see, th- those parts I will get. Like, okay, we'll do. But once again, like I just, I just ran with the story, so mm-hmm. I did as well. But I so after like contemplating about it, because like uh, before we sat down to do this, I wasn't quite sure if I really liked this movie or not. But the more we talked about it, it became very clear that I that I love this movie. But um, shoot, where was I going with that? <laughs> What were we talking about just now? I was just saying, <laughs> you were saying there's, there's plot holes in the film, but I still love the film. Oh, yeah. like I gave a lot of artistic license to different things that even though I might have a hiccup mentally on, but then I was like, but I'm still enjoying myself. The 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 uh, hill I'll die upon is the one where, or my my nit. I, I guess my my issue with it thinking about it so much now is it's it's more nitpicky than it really being a flaw in the movie. Uh, like my my thing was a little bit about the bunnies. The fact that they're everywhere. Now, granted, maybe they can populate themselves or whatever, but who's running this underground facility? Like, who's keeping it powered and yeah, stuff? You I know what I mean? Like, I was like, this is a lot to keep up all yeah. over the country. Who's supplying the rabbits and where's all of this coming from? Yeah. Out of red, the only one who can speak, find out the whole backstory. Yeah, like, how did that whole... There's a... Because no one... Who's there to explain the red hair? We were a government experiment. They were left on air. And they're going to do the whole story. See, that's the stuff when I was right. talking about. time. Yeah. But who told it to you? Nobody talking to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you... How did, how did you, you come to understand all of this? 
I guess. Yeah, fair enough. I perhaps. guess. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, perhaps the hell out of that shit. Um, <laughs> I'll let it go. I'll I wonder, allow it. I wonder if the white chick, I um, can't think of the actress's name. I love it from Mad Men. I love it from Mad Men. Liz Moss. Moss, yeah. yeah Liz true. Moss. Um, I, don't, I forget she's yelling at right now on this bootleg. But, um. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. What? Sorry. Huh? Thanks. What? Oh, no. Who's? I got issues, y'all. And then when people shit just go through the time, it just doesn't it's stop. It's not stopping, y'all. I want y'all to hear my new track. Do. It's my new single. Now how about you turn it's off the ring? It. It's my new I single, y'all. Okay. It's my new single right there. Music from the tattoo. I wonder if the white chick, Represent. I wonder if Mars did not directly kill Red, I mean, I mean Adelaide, because she so resembles Red or saving her for Red. Because, you know, she kidnapped her. She didn't murder her. They murdered their tethers viciously. Yeah. They kept black girl alive. Yeah. I felt like that they had some sort of I don't know if I don't know if we discussed this earlier, but I felt like yeah, there was some sort of these these all are special and therefore they're tethered and you can't touch them. Like I felt like there was some sort of understanding there. Uh, the family kill each other. We kill yeah. ourselves. Right, yeah. You can't touch the others. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Right. Mm-hmm. Like they yeah, they, I don't know, it didn't they didn't explain it, but that's, I guess, that's what I took from it. And but, uh, it was just great that the kids said their mom, the dad came later. I love that. I love that moment when she opens up the door and he's like, ah, I mean, did you kill? <laughs> Six. Oh, yeah. cool. With his Howard University HBCU sweatshirt. But um, I was with him when he was like, why, why don't we just stay in this goddamn house? I mean, I will say, to me, that was very jarring at first because I'm like, what? There's dead bodies everywhere. What are you talking about? Why would you do that? But we're safe. <laughs> logically thinking about it, in that situation, basically the apocalypse is happening. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say my ass. What we got a house. Everybody dead. We could just chill. But in that moment, when I saw the movie the first time, I was just like, "What? You you want to stay? You want to do what? Why are you so calm?" Yeah. Well, you're talking about Winston Duke. Or... Yeah, I'm talking about Winston Duke. He wasn't calling. Like, he said he wanted to stay. He <laughs> just stayed. They, 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 no one was looking for him there. They had food. They had electricity. The world going crazy. I really understood why he wanted to stay there. Yeah. On the second watch, what comes to my attention is, I understand now why Adelaide was so gung-ho. It's, oh, no, y'all don't understand. This is the motherfucker I fucked over, and I know she will not give up. I have to find and murder her. This is revenge. You know what I mean? But it's interesting to look back on. She did care about those kids that weren't even hers because they were tethered. Because remember when it came down, I'm jumping a few boys. Each time, she was very... When when the boy um took, killed, he killed himself in a way. When he did the mirror thing that he was doing with his, uh, with his tethered self and made his tethered self walk into the fire. Mm. She was very affected by that. When a girl... Um, when, when her daughter ran over her tell herself with the car and she went flying, she went oh, yeah, down she went to make sure a girl her. like died peacefully, at least not alone. See, those are some tales of, oh girl, you you got connections on both ends because you know what I mean, you are technically tethered folk, yeah. but you had upper folk, uh, you know, land dwelling kids. And so I think you just conflicted on both ends when it comes to the mm-hmm. children specifically. Right. Mm. I, 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 I kind of took that a little differently when she went out into the woods. Um, cause I thought she was going out there to finish her off. But then she didn't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she did want you to believe on first viewing. Uh-huh. But I think when you think about it on second viewing as to who she is, it gives it a, another still- layer of, oh, she was making sure a girl didn't die by herself. Yeah. Why oh. was she crying so much when this killer kid walked into the fire to the point that her kid really gets snatched? Now that one, that one I believe. I, I still, for me, the interpretation was, um... I felt like her motivation was we got to make sure she dead because she could come back and then swap with you. We don't want that shit to happen again. I so think, that's, I think that's you cool. it both ways. Personally. Yeah, it could be. I think cause the reason why the girl one makes me think that way is because how she acted to the boy one. And then we go, mm-hmm. oh, because that was very odd. You got this killer person on you. You got out the car and you went head up and straight up. And it was just like, even when she was dead, it's like, you know what I mean? I think he played both mm-hmm. sides well, might I add. Because the thing is, I'm not necessarily right. You're not necessarily right. right. You're not necessarily wrong. I'm not necessarily wrong. We can <laughs> yeah. really have a debate and have merit on both sides. Yeah, That's different interpretation. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's you like it's it's open to you and 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 not in that Christopher Nolan way. <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, I'm just not don't get me wrong. I love I love Christopher Nolan, man. But my boy is like, I need you to finish this movie for me. <laughs> like finish it in your head. In your head, and I got you. 
So they decided to leave, and next year, you know, uh, one of the twin chicks was still alive, apparently. Yeah. And, you know, mama got to finish her off, and that's when little boy started to see mama, mom, you kind of vicious, because remember, he see her murder and then yeah. continue to continue. Mm-hmm. That's how they would fuck him up. He was like, uh, mom, she did, yeah. She's, uh, dead. She did, she did yeah, yeah, bro. But it was, it was interesting to see the situation that made the girl have to be the one driving because, you know, mom's handcuffed, daddy got in the bed. <laughs> I thought that was like, hilarious. Yeah, bro, yeah. like, it, it was a great story, a lot of things that made sense. And, it and she couldn't her, wait. And it gave her a way to, you know, murk the other one because she popped up like Chucky and shit. Like, the way that all the family got split up and it was like watching a video game with you have to go take down mm-hmm. bosses. It was pretty, mm-hmm. pretty interesting. But look how she looked at that all peaceful and shit, like, oh, I'm making sure you good. Nah, man. Look at that. That's not a fear of anything. She's just staring at her like a freaking wounded dog. I think this was one of the moments where I kind of sat back and said, something is up with her. Um, there was another moment too earlier on that happened that made me say, I don't think something is right mm-hmm. with her. I, I just think something that. is up. I think, you know what? It was a flashback. It was one of the flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Specifically when... Um, her mom, Adelaide's mom, said, that is not my daughter. I said, oh, bitch. Yeah. That is not your daughter. I mean, for a lot of people. I don't know if I'm right, though. And I remember, <laughs> like, watching through, I was like, and then at the end, I'm like, oh, my God. I was right. But for a lot of people hearing that we talking about, I saw the turn a mile away. I'm glad I did. Nah, did. not a mile. Because normally, I do. But, like, a lot of people say this It was subtle. No, it was super subtle. But that one it line was. made me say, oh, my God, they keep cutting Right at the end of like when the two girls are facing each other and they cut, that's you never see what happens. Like, yeah. Hold up, hold up. What's it, happening? Like I said, if I hadn't had that conversation, man, I would have went oh, in blind, yeah. which would have I, I would have preferred that experience. But I think even those people that are saying that you know I saw it early, I knew from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 I still think Joe. I, th- I still think Joe Peel had the um, had the the challenge to at least I think we talked about this with you, Marty, to at least make you wonder if that's the turn. Yes. Or if that's right. the Absolutely. turn. Right. I think you said you, you said that perfectly earlier. And so I think yeah. for those people, you didn't know the entire time. Yeah, you didn't you know out. for sure. Oh yeah, you thought it. But like you didn't know for sure until the very end. Like that's where it was like for me conf- well, maybe not even until the very end. I think like when um when Adelaide kills Red it's kind of a little, uh, there's kind of a little nod there. Cause like the, the uh, that sort of noise or whatever. That girl, she, she can't yeah. Wait. yeah. It was real subtle, but it's like, y'all heard that, right? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? She, like, she, 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 she laughing this year, right? Like, yeah. Like, it was there, but I think from that point on, it really encouraged you to think what's going on. But, you know, I, man, I just think it was expertly done. I love yeah. the fact that the situation was, she's, look, she's trying to connect with the little boy. Yeah. I love why she's trying to connect with the little monster. That's what I'm saying. She got something going on. But I like that it's in pure daylight. So much of the film has been in the darkness. The fact that this made it to the daylight yeah. gives it a jarring, a, ni- a nice jarring view. And, oh, when the little boy smile. When that little boy lifts his mask up and stares at it's the a other trap. it's like, oh, Lord. But it's they all had to kill themselves, man. Yeah. Y'all had to kill themselves, son. And so, you know, we go from the little boy doing the mimic game, the merry game with his double game, and get him to go into the fire. What do y'all think about that moment where he kind of calls back to the, the point when they're in the car and then she's like, get on the beat. Um, and like, he's just like snapping his fingers there, but there's no like connection or all that. Like that, that's a moment that, that she experienced with her real son, not with the doppelganger, but he's sort of like calling that, that back out. Like, did y'all feel like there was any symbolism or anything there like we, and go back to the fuck i'm saying she think there's a churn man i'm trying yeah. to tell you she got connection with both sides bro she confused yeah. dog. I mean, for me that whole scene makes me say oh we should have knew she was tethered because she didn't have no rhythm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says. Like it was in the trailer we should have known my thing is but she like, did have rhythm I, I because she's a freaking dancer that was the whole yeah, deal even the whole final fight we got this intense ass operatic Five on it and shit is like that is my that that's the scene that plays in my head the most. You think about this film? Oh hell yeah! yeah. I think because uh, Red's movements, how she like just like <laughs> she's nah, electric she slide, yeah, she's just like yeah. beating the fuck out of Adelaide like it wasn't nothing. Or just dodging her. Sometimes when we get, and, well, get back to nighttime, oh, I love. Yeah. And even even her going downstairs, she knew exactly where to go to go find her freaking and, and, and these shots. Of um, you know, red cutting out the uh the the, the 
the cardboard yeah, cutouts yeah. of the people holding their hands with this is this extreme close up on the side of her face as she tells this, you know, explore, explores more of the story as Adam lives in the back, leading up to their final boss battle fight. Man, this was like somebody's I think I saw a news article that said that this is a low-key superhero film. Family, you like going oh. some shit and on the on slip, dog. They the okay. family held it down, dog. Incredibles with no powers, oh. Ah, oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Now, they, I didn't read the article. I just made up that part. But now when I say it, wow, yup. You know what yeah. I'm mad at? Not knowing and that that's And does have a booty. Woo, woo. <laughs> Bang, back there, back there, to find himself. But, uh, yeah, son. <laughs> the fight was amazing. And the whole lead up to it, as she explained the whole deal with the tether, it just still added these haunting visuals and layers that she breaks down. And the thing is, while she's telling the story, you think she's talking about the one underground, and she really talked about the one above ground. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a flip of scene knew, back but a second no, time. At this point, for me, as she's telling it, I'm like, this. They switched. I was like, they switched. Yeah. I was like, they switched. Like, that's well, that's what kept part, doubt in my head. But the then that switched at this point that she's telling these flashbacks when we seen her. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of part of the trippiness. Yeah. When she's telling the story, when we first see it, we think that she's talking about herself underground. Herself. No, yeah. she's talking about herself above ground at this part. And that makes it so much more fucked up. When exactly. When you reveal it, it's like haunting and shit. Like, oh my God. I mean, for me right now, seeing it back, it makes it more fucked up. Like, she tells the story of... Um, it's Adelaide having this flashback of being underground and it's her having a flashback of being above ground and talking about how fucked up everything is. Yeah. That's trippy to watch back the second time seeing knowing who is who. Yeah, it's hard. Like, for me, it was just... Because Ray it was, didn't go underground until after all that carnival shit. What you saying, dude? Oh, no, I was just saying it was, like, for me, that, that that's what was the most unsettling thing about this movie as, like, the credits are rolling and you're getting up to walk out. The thing that stuck with me is that, oh girl, the, oh girl, yeah, oh, like the, the the bad guy won. The bad they guy they won. swapped, they like swapped. like literally. Yeah, the, the point was is that sometimes we're the villain of the story and we don't even realize it. Uh, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah, you know what I mean that's what I like that. that's why I said so. Even for all his faults, he accomplished something very cool oh, with yeah. this movie. I love that this movie. I remember when um they first started doing promotions for it and everything. When we first got the first teaser, everybody was like, oh, it's about race. It's going to talk about how black people are their own worst enemy. And I'm so happy that it was not about that at all. Me as and well. he said that. He was like, no, this is not about race. And I remember when he said that, I was like, oh, God, where are you going with this? I mean, if, if you want to interpret there, it to yeah, be about Yeah, but there race. are things within it that can lend itself to that thought, but right. it's not directly about that. I mean, that's what makes this, I think, more accessible than yeah. Get Out for white people because yeah. this is, what she said earlier, we're Americans. Mm-hmm. This is more <laughs> about classism and privilege, yeah. which can come in different forms of different colors. So if you want to interpret it about being race or black people, you could. But also, if you're like another race, you're watching this, you can see where you fit in. Anybody that's marginalized. Exactly. Because, really? you know, Get Out has some things that, I, that, that were inherently, this is black shit. Yeah. This is shit black people go through. And us black people specifically are blackly watching this. Very different than everyone else in the country. Right. I don't give a goddamn, dog. No, like, no one else, no other race understood. Maybe Spanish to a degree. But no one really got those quirks. Like, we got those quirks for right. Get Out. That felt so tailor-made for us. Mm-hmm. No pun. But <laughs> us felt like, you know what I mean, legit U.S., United States. So I'm like, you know, you can apply it in many different ways. It could have been any family, you know what I mean? It just happened to be a black one. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, dude, that, that was a cool thing. But, and think, I, oh, let's okay. talk. Oh, no, I was just going to say, thinking back on it, too, like, another interesting thing I'm, I'm kind of, I guess, reliving now is... Um, the fact that uh, Adelaide was special before she swapped because she was the only one who was aware of her situation before that. Like, yeah. she's yeah. still aware of all this shit. Like, oh, look at this. These mom, these doing some, they're doing something weird over there. And, and this isn't quite right. Wait a minute. You know, like, you she's, know she's processing that. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well, did the... <laughs> did the strongest survive? Or what happened now? Yeah, because they both were, they both were special. Apparently, yeah. you know, so I mean, when he talked that shit back, man, like Red or Adelaide knew inherently almost that there could be a better way for her, you know what I mean? Because it was like some rain, she sheared the rain, and no one else did. 
and that's what led into that what you call it and then red from above it was like <clears throat> what she won't listen to her kids but she like you said they both did this to her parents they both had something i mean at red tells a story bro it was almost fate even she accepted that's even weirder coming from her being the one that got fucked over when yeah. she was saying it was almost fate that connected yeah. us that night that made us have that situation like a lot of her shit written so much different when you were like she's the not well she's the villain not the villain you know what I'm saying but she's the she got fucked over yeah. but she's in the right like she should be revoked she should think that her entire life is taken from her you know what I mean it's not her fault that, that she had a tether you know what I mean right. but it's also not the tether's fault that they were created so it's a bunch of whoa yeah. who's right because somebody's got to answer for it I mean, somebody gotta lose the original one lost dog that's yeah. so screwed up when you watch that's it that's really messed Entire fight scene with the ballerina and the music and everything else. My favorite, one beautiful, of my favorite scenes. Beautiful, I should say. beautiful it was. But like you said, man, um, when she made that kill and she made that guttural and fucking noise, noise, that was it. That's and then she started it. laughing. Damn. And once again, mm-hmm. we spoke on this I think earlier. Mm-hmm. She whistled, and um, I'm trying to say uh, the original Red whistled and Adley um, whistled backwards. And that was another tell. Right before Red was about to die, she whispered forward or mm-hmm. whatever. Like they, they fucked with the um, it was an itsy bitsy spider. Mm-hmm. And um, when when Red first goes into the house and she whistles, they're doing because she was scared. Remember she, when she walked into the fun house and then Adelaide whistles it backwards to her to attract her. And one thing that's noticeable is. Um, Red, when she dies, she right before she dies, she starts whistling it forward again, like she did when she was a little girl when she first entered that freaking fun house. And oh, okay. um, somewhere, Red, like somewhere in the scoring, when Adelaide is approaching, it's going backwards again in the background. Oh. And it's trippy how they either play. Like this nigga here, like to say that he should have tightened up his plot, but he's very specific about leaving layers and hints mm-hmm. and things for you to find out and uncover. Yeah. And after murking her do- doppelganger <clears throat> and winning as the villain does, her son can't even tell her apart. <laughs> he can't tell her apart. Because <laughs> right. she, he, she, she saves him and he don't feel happy to be saved. He doesn't know she, if he's even saved. Yeah, she wipes her face, the hair out of her face. I'm like, nigga, she ain't, he ain't confused by your happy in your no, face. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's your hair. It's in your face. The hair you wear all the time. That's what the problem is, the confusion. The, did he hear the gripe? Did he hear the guttural scream? And did that turn him off? And whoever did the guttural scream and made him realize... Yeah, I think it was oh. the, the scream and the kill that made him say, what? But he, the, the, he, she had the kill. Did he not watch that whole thing transpire from the, you know, cubbyhole or whatever? Like, I don't know. I think he did. I feel I like he saw it. I thought like she, she had to go somewhere to find him, right? He was just like in a little no, compartment or something. Um, the same room. Yeah. Oh, I so didn't he guess So he witnessed that. a lot of it, I think is what they're implying. Yeah. Which is why when she pulls him out, he's shook. Like, yeah, he's like, oh, shit. I don't know who you are. All right. I, didn't, you, you yeah. I mean, I know plan. who you are. <laughs> and then she laughed. Because that laugh is also pretty freaking evil. Okay, let me bring this back. Where did she See, go? there are holes in that thing. Yeah. Yeah, right. but I thought she went to a whole nother room. So no, she was in the was same, the same room. room. Oh, that makes me even more shook. fucked up. That makes me even more fucked up that they're the same room. I didn't I didn't catch that at all. But, uh, you know, the family comes back together after such an int- intense little thing. They're driving off. And then we get the flashback of how fucked up Adelie so once again took old girl life, man. Oh, you got to get that little girl, but. Oh, yeah, all, the acting, like, all the acting, all the acting, all the acting, all the acting, all the But that, great. that look right there. That's so scary. I was like, oh, like, yeah. oh when, she when she put on the milk, yes. when she, yeah, when she put on the she just like stares at her as she big walks away. out the room. Like, the and people, were, people were wondering why did um, Red want, um, not go back where she came from. Why did she leave? Because she knew she could leave. And my thing was, I yeah. don't think Red even knew how she even got where she was. The girl knocked out. And then handcuffed until the day. She was just completely discombobulated. She was little, so it's like you, there's probably a layer of confusion there. You had you see people that look like the people you know. You see your parents, mm-hmm. and you're like, okay. You don't know how you got there. Yeah, like she was young enough to be fucking confused and be like, I don't really know. Imagine being that age and that shit happened to you. Yeah, right? and you don't even know how to probably get out the fucking handcuffs. I don't know how long that took in the first place. 
By the time you got the handcuffs, you don't know I'm sure you're looking for an escalator. You didn't you just appear downstairs, nigga, and you just know there is an up, but now you still like you say discombobulated that yeah. it's like fuck this is life now. Right. I imagine at some point the the tether were, 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 were well they were watched over at some point. They were, you know, they were, managed, yeah. if you will, yeah. right? By somebody. And maybe at that point it was they were still being managed, if you will, or like farmed or whatever the hell it is, right? And she just kind of, I don't know, fell into the mix. It's like, well, you are who you are. You look like you're supposed to look. So we just assume that you are, you know, who, you, who you're supposed to be. And then, like, maybe at some... I feel like there's just such an interesting story on, like, the life she led underground. Yeah. Up until the yeah. point when, you know, when right. she makes that move. I feel like there's such an interesting story. He looks like I created a world here that he's just going to just leave. Yeah, no, yeah. Questions <laughs> of things. Like, of all the times, sometimes television shows get uh, canceled or whatnot, then, then uh, like, books take, they, then they live more onward in book form or even in comic book form if it's a TV show like Buffy or Smallville. And I'm like, man, can somebody make some books off of this world so we can just get more about some shit? Do y'all feel like there's a potential there for, like, TV and stuff? Because I, do I don't get the impression... Or at least I, did. I haven't gotten the impression from anything he said so far that he plans to necessarily revisit this particular story. So do you think that maybe it could be farmed somewhere like on a like a streaming service or something? Or maybe it has like I mean, legs somewhere else? I would be open to it, but I don't think they're going to do it, though. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be against it, but I, I don't see that happening at all. Peel really strikes me as a cat that makes it. One and done. One and done. He don't play that. Like Spike. Like Spike don't do sequels, does I was about to say, no, he doesn't. Spike doesn't do sequels. And I think, uh, unless it's a very specific project, I don't see him playing with these and and making sequels. No. No. Okay. It's like, I said what I said and I'm done. (laughs) What's next? I said what I said. That's how I feel the same way. And uh, the the look that the little boy gives his vibe is like, so fucking well played. It's yeah. Just, I, Ooh, and when he puts that mask on, I'm like, yeah, the boy. That look. Mm-hmm. Oh god, yeah, we put. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, and then the movie just goes out to the creepy music, and even she's like, wait, she knows. he sees me. Yeah. Oh, and she kind of like gives a evil look. Like, yeah. I mean, she ain't got nothing. It's not even evil. Nothing. It's triumphant. Yeah. So she might not even know that he know he much. That's a carefree look, right? That's a carefree smile. She just yeah, gave. son. It was it was nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Man. So uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but I still loved it. I loved it too. Definitely I enjoyed it. it. Yeah, definitely, definitely enjoyable, man. Worth the watch. Worth the watch multiple times. Multiple times. There's so many different things you can dissect and get from this film if you watch it. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, <laughs> don't think too, too hard. Cause mm-hmm. yes, because there are plot if holes. You can. can break it. Yes. Yeah. You, you can break it. We yes, know. You can. But fuck it. What? Sometimes the fuck it. We see so many mediocre films by <laughs> that. Come on, you, you guys. I, I can. We go gotta fly to shit. My other motherfuckers could walk to. Just uh, skip. I can go with a film having plot holes, but taking a strong freaking statement and, you know, working it out, man. He worked it out. Um, I think I would have, if I was to do something different, me and a film something about this, man. What we mm-hmm. said. Um, I thought, like, especially if it was just in one city, I thought, like, it would have been interesting if then the motherfuckers would have started framing the family for murders and shit. And the niggas mm-hmm. having to go for it. Because once again, if it's in one town, who's going to believe if you leave the town? But yeah. then your doppelganger is out here still causing ruckus. You know what I mean? And now you really got to figure out how to deal with this because now you guys are wanting it, but who's going to believe your telling story, your, your, your twin story? story of and I, don't know, yeah. I think there's a lot of ways. He kicked another very interesting idea, but it, I don't know I don't know where it is right now. But, I mean, there's all there's all kind of ways Jordan Peele could have flipped it. He did what he wanted to do, and it still came out pretty damn good because he's fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> any final words on this joint? Uh, oh, sorry. I mean, jump you. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh. that, 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 um, jump you. Actually, you go. Okay. I'm still processing. I'm I'm super uh, happy with this movie. It was uh it was good to see him like work with the bigger budget. Watching the uh, mm-hmm. the end shot and stuff, it's sort of like yeah, he's earned this, and this is gonna earn him an even bigger uh, I think budget going uh, forward, and just to sort of see like what he's gonna do now, almost without any financial limit. You know, because that's eventually sort of where he's, I, I think he's going. He's going to end up uh, being. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I, I dug this one a lot. It took a couple. I was one of those people who came to the table a little late. Like it, it took me a couple of conversations <laughs> before I actually um, uh, could say out loud and, and feel in my soul that I, I really love this movie. Mm. And uh, at least now I know. Um, and I look forward to shit, whatever he's doing. I mean, like, so uh, before this movie, it was, or uh, before this movie came out, it was, you know, whatever Jordan Peele's a part of or doing, uh, sign me up, I'll show up, I'll be there. And I'm doubling down on that now, you know. Um, yeah. This has solidified him as like one of my absolute favorite, not just favorite directors right now, but just like minds at the moment. Like, you know, I, I, I just, I kind of dig where he's going and where he's at and, and um, in terms of how he approaches it. It's like we, we don't necessarily get a perfect picture, but we get something really interesting and original and uh, such as something we've never seen before, yeah. and I like I, I just I appreciate that, and um, yeah, this movie uh, I officially love it. Boom. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to say that I was very pleasantly surprised by this film. I knew it was going to be amazing, but I just wasn't sure of what we were going to get from it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I didn't appreciate this at first, but I do now. I appreciate the. What felt like a slow build because there definitely were moments in the film where I was like, okay, where is this going? Where are we going? Where are we going? But now yeah. that I think back on it and with repeat viewings, it's like, okay, I see why they sort of were like building this story or leaving these little crumbs that feel like they're going slow. But if you go back and look, it's like, nah, you get oh, it these are moments time. that mean yeah. something, yeah. Um, so I definitely think it was a really, really good movie. I'm excited to see what else Jordan Peele can do. I don't want to see any kind of sequel to this at all. I think it's one <laughs> okay. of those films all that, right. like, let it be, leave it as it is. And I feel like mm -hmm. there's so many different things you can get from it each time. So I really appreciate it. And I appreciate, one of the main things that I appreciate about this movie is seeing, and I'm going to keep saying it, seeing a black family do normal ass shit. Normal ass <laughs> black family that's well off living. You know, and mm. and that part of the story I feel like played into other things that ultimately feed into like the whole uh, message about uh, uh, people being uh, underprivileged or you know mm. not having or being without. But I appreciated seeing that regardless. So yeah, man, I hope Lupita get an award. She will. She needs to, and that's the other thing. Lupita killed it. It's both of them. I'm like, oh my. You know they not like. I mean, ah. I just I feel like this is gonna be one of those sort of unspoken like yeah. respects she'll get, but I don't feel like it'll it is it's gonna translate to anything. I was reading an know. article about that, and um, they were saying they hope it doesn't happen, but they feel like she might get snubbed because oftentimes, um, actors that kill it in these horror based roles typically get snubbed. Right, like they just get overlooked. Horror yeah, movies we're not get even overlooked. paying attention to it. And I think that's really fucked up. And I don't know. I think it's fucked up, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I think this one's gonna be different just this because of the acclaim and the hype that yeah. right. this particular horror movie's got. This is gonna be one of those crossover joints, like how people always felt that way about comic movies. And comic movies are starting to, you know, build momentum up into getting more prestige. We still ain't got to the point where like Robert Downey Jr. is gonna get nominated for Best Actor or anything. But you know, what I mean, it's just mm -hmm. interesting to see. Things are changing, things are evolving, and this movie won't get any awards, but Lupita might get a shout. I'm, I'm having my fingers crossed on that. I feel like this movie, just off the nature of Jordan Peele's name, is going to be on people's radar. Uh, but they made like triple or quadruple his yeah, budget. They did. Yeah, they made all of their money back in, so come on now. So, I mean, there, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a chance, it's just, it's a chance. I, I think <laughs> I think all. that I think that Bass is right though with all of the acclaim and how this thing is eating it up at the box office. Mm. I think people might literally send flaming bags of poop <laughs> if they snub it. Like, oh, if they snub her, yeah, 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 if they snub her, yeah. 
But we shall see, man. I ain't got nothing else to say on the film, man. I really dug it. Uh, cracks and warts and all. Uh, right. I feel like it's much more fun on repeat viewing and repeat viewing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it definitely and is. And once you just accept what it is and, you know, what it's, what it's trying to do, it's just, you know, to me, it's a fun flick, man. It is. If you want it to be deep, it's deep. If you don't want it to be deep, it ain't got to be. Nope. Yeah. But it's just, you know, cool film. I'm ready, like y'all said, I'm ready for more Jordan Peele. Yeah. You watch Twilight. I didn't catch it. How is it? Yeah. The I, Twilight is hosting. Yeah, the I'm first. producer. Yeah, the, so the first episode is on YouTube. It is, um, he's really, from in my personal opinion, I think he's just sort of involved in it in name and, and host. And host oh, only. so it's not like his, okay. Nah, but the first episode is, and I always enjoyed the Twilight Zone. I was always a fan yeah, of it. Yeah, same here. Um, so yeah, it, it keeps it, you know, it keeps that tradition same? going. Okay, oh yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. And I, I feel like it's trying to... I feel like the the show is trying to match up to or, or meet the hype or uh, expectations of, say, a Jordan Peele because his name is attached to it. I feel like it's yeah. reaching a little harder and deeper maybe this time mm-hmm. around, which, um, you know, was pretty cool, actually. I, I dug the first episode a lot. Um, yeah, so very you, interesting. You sure Jordan Peele ain't got nothing to do with this career? Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish you were going to say I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I it doesn't. Watch Black Mirror. Wait, so, <laughs> I I, I, I do, so I don't want to give you any. You want to see was the one that I want to see it from. I feel so. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> in the show's defense, I feel like it is taking into account that Jordan Peele has a certain kind of brand right now in terms of horror or um, you know thriller, however you want to look at it. He has sort of a certain brand that he's yeah, building, he does. you mm-hmm. know, and there. They're not on that brand. You're fucking. We're not watching. They're not. They're not, <laughs> they're not mimicking the brand to 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 the letter, in my opinion. But they are sort of staying inside of the umbrella, if you will. Mm-hmm. So uh, the great value version of Jordan Peele. I wouldn't. Need, I would. So what's right above great value? Oh no. <laughs> what's yes, right man. above great value? <laughs> oh my god. Really? It's um. It's not Whole Foods, but it's foods. It's like uh, we get, we're getting um, Walmart organic. Oh right? no! I we're feel like I feel like Jordan Slice. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm this Peel. is the show now. That but no, it, it I, I I dig it. I would I would continue to watch it if it what it didn't cost me six bucks oh. just to watch this one show. Damn. So mm. no. CBS charging out here, mm-hmm. mm. and it's only on the online uh, platform. So. There's apparently after this first episode, there's no other way to catch it. Uh, no. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Well, no we thanks get out of here, y'all. Oh, quick question. Shouts out. Uh, do you all think that uh, Jordan Peele is going to like suffer at all or run into any bigger, say, hiccups because of his... Uh, his statements of recent of uh, saying that he's, you know, he's going to cast... Uh, uh, no. No, you no. don't. He's okay. producing his own movies with his own money right now, mm-hmm. and no. he's only trying to work with black people. So yeah. it's not like black say people what the are going to get mad. Say, and anybody that speaks out against it, bitch, you're part of the problem, and you're going to prove his fucking point. No, Boom. it will not cripple him. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think he it said what he said, and he did the correct <laughs> thing. Fuck y'all. We didn't see enough movies with y'all white. Let me stop. Yep. So this is that actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford. <laughs> Find me on Facebook <laughs> at Martin Bass Bradford. And on okay. the other social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell that Mr. Out of the Man gonna find me. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, we're not a political podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not trying to get some other black no. podcasters, they say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Well, guys, <laughs> this is an outro, motherfuckers. I'm going to say bye. See y'all later. I am J Steel underscore is who I am on Instagram. I'm also Fat Girl Nola because I be eating. And you can also catch me on the Misbelief Radio Show podcast. Woo! Mm-hmm. You do that. Yeah. At the Misbelief. Okay. And this is your favorite host, Marty, M-A-R-T-Y, Edwards, 504 on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap at the chat. Also go to lowrainpictures.com, click on the Your 30 tab, where I co-host a show there with... 
What's his name? The Black Actopedia. The Black Actopedia. The Arrogant Observer. You are 30 with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. Check it out. It's the 200 episode is up. Yeah. That's all I got for you folks. Yes, we're reviewing that at gmail.com, man. Yeah. So you refer it, we review it. That's what we're going to do. That's what we do out here. The next review should be Shazam. Real. Followed by In Time, hopefully. People. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. In Time. I didn't forget. Shit. I didn't forget. Did you watch? Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't watch it. Oh, I didn't okay. forget. We're going to watch Have it. Have you ever seen it? Yep, once. Okay, cool. I'm Me too. Re- refresh yeah. myself. Okay. Jay still still supposed to watch that episode of Castle Rock. Did you finish? She likes it. You finished uh, Black Lightning, right? Yeah, but we just never talked about it. Never we talked about it. We gotta do that. We gotta do uh, the last two episodes of Black Lightning. What is Black Lightning? Yeah, <laughs> Who and what is Black you're Lightning? You're not on that version of our show. What is this thing called oh, Black no, Lightning? Don't say that. You, you don't know. <laughs> it feels like a breakup. Stop off. Sorry. I can't believe you stopped watching. I'm sorry. How I'm could sorry. you? I don't know what it's happened. gonna change your life. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I don't no. want to watch me anymore. <laughs> I'm not here for Gabby slander. You're this is it, guys. We out. And so is Jay Steele because she don't review that Oh, long. my God. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So